Hello there, gamers, simmers, and the pilots. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome back to a, another flight here featuring prepared Lockheed Martin's prepared or P3D <laughs> version five. Made a little bit of. Uh, alterations a little bit here we're not using enhanced uh, atmospherics uh, so I've got the active active sky cloud art going on here Polynesian pinball <laughs> hello how are you and we're here uh, at noon not noon. Dawn. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. And there is a plane sitting right on top of where I'm at, which is <laughs> a little annoying. This is the only uh, area here where I can get GSX uh, services. And of course, there just happens to be a plane sitting uh, right there where I happen to be. But we are flying Aerolinius Argentinas. Yeah, the sky looks really nice, doesn't it? It's not bad at all. We got got some weird halo effect here going around the trees, but uh <laughs> But yeah, you know what? I you know it, it it's not, you know, Flight Simulator twenty twenty. Uh, the clouds look amazing in that. There's no doubt about that. But I still don't have any problem with this either. So I think it still looks quite nice. All right. We're going to go ahead and start getting some things ready here. Got a lot of uh, cold and dark stuff here that we're going to do. Because, well, I don't know. Kind of thought that might be kind of nice to just kind of go over um, a few things here. I know it's kind of dark in here. Let's go over here to... Well, let's not click on that. We'll go over here to Flight Simulator Actions here. Check on ground services. Okay, so we got ground power. That's good. We have, like, air start unit, air conditioning unit. Oh. <laughs> There's, uh, more pages there that I failed to look at, I think. Nope, hold on. Go back here. Ah, right, right there. There we go. See, we got, like, four pages here. So we can request potable water... Lavatory, maintenance van, and the fuel truck. So we'll get to that. What else can we request here? Stairs, passenger bus, all, all very kind of cool stuff um, that we can do. Forward loader, forward carts, aft loader. But, you know, again, we've got uh, GSX. Might be kind of might be kind of neat to actually maybe use that uh, maybe once. Let's go ahead and bring in some pot potable water here. There should be a little truck there coming. Yeah, you know the error that you're getting? I haven't had that yet. I haven't had that uh, that error yet. Uh, the rain sound uh, that you're hearing is actually from uh, Inv sound from the uh, the Toga uh, line of project products. They have the uh, Inv Tex, Inv, uh, Inv ENV shade and uh, ENV sound uh, so you're getting that sound effect from there so it's some enhanced uh, sound effects we'll 
go ahead and request lavatory service here. Here comes that truck. Is he going to park in the same spot? No, no, he's going to back around there. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I got the 747 also. That was the first PMDG that I got. Um, I got it uh, specifically for... There is a VAT sim event last year, uh, Cross and Vatris, which was across Russia. It was like, holy crap, I don't know, what, 32 legs or something, something crazy like that. And I got the 747 specifically for that. Uh, and then the first, first airport, <laughs> first couple of airports, they were small. And so I've got this huge 747. Uh, at this uh, really small airport, I'm like, eh, maybe I should have gone with the 737. Um, so eventually I did get the 737, and I also got the uh, the Aerosoft Airbus um, collection, the professional, the pro one that's got like all four different uh, Airbuses in it. Um, wasn't able to fly that Airbus really well, but I'm getting more of a hang uh, of it uh, than what I did before. Okay, we'll go ahead and release them. We'll bring in the maintenance van. We won't do fuel yet. Okay, so there comes the maintenance van. He's gonna he's gonna come over here and maybe get this other plane out of here. I don't know. Oh, that's nice. That is that that's nice. That's good that that you're able to get your uh, your PC up and running. I know exactly where you're coming from. Um, the i7 computer that I've got, it's seven years old. It's a fourth generation i7, uh, but it was down for a couple of years. Um, I wasn't sure what was wrong with it. Uh, I thought maybe it might have been the processor. I think it was a combination of the processor and the motherboard. I wound up replacing both. And I did that towards the end of last year before Flight Sim 2020 came out. Because when that was announced, and, and uh, I, I was like, all right, I got to get that day one uh, when it comes out. And I also got my uh, graphics card. 20, uh, RTX 2070 Super uh, uh, before I was running on a i5 machine with a GTX 760. <laughs> so you can imagine the upgrade that I've had <laughs> just between the two. And as much as I would love to build a whole new computer with a Ryzen 7 uh, and stuff, I'm not quite in that financial situation to be able to do that. Okay, ground services. Not what we want. Okay. Fuel, we're going to set this to full because uh, we have quite a long flight. Also, too, I did a practice run uh, of this fight. Uh, fight. <laughs> yeah, I fought. Uh, flight um, as a kind of dress rehearsal. <laughs> and Polynesian uh, Pinball is now part of the killer community, which... Thank you. Thank you for joining. There is a lot of fun stuff here on this channel. Um, 
there is uh, Flight Simulator 2020, which I will be getting back to. I was just taking a break uh, with it for this week. We have a miniseries event going on, Crossing the World. And what have I done? Like 17, 18 flights or something like that? Uh, and they're, they're all over on my YouTube channel, uh, Killer TV. Uh, there's a few left here on Twitch. They fall off after about 10 days. Uh, but we'll be getting back to that. But something else that I have a reputation for uh, with my viewers is that I also do the classic flight simulators as well with add-ons, custom content. <laughs> so just as if those were the current simulator today, I also enhance those simulators uh, with add-ons and, and uh, custom content, payware, stuff like that. So if you like to like to see Flight Simulator 98 again and Flight Simulator 95, or yeah, 95, 5, 4, 2002, I do all that stuff. And that also includes X-Plane. Um, I've got X-Plane 5 all the way to X-Plane 11. So, DCS I haven't uh, haven't really uh, messed around with. Not too much into combat simulators, although I, I have had requests from the community. Um, one, that I should check out DCS, but also uh, they've been wanting to see like com Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator 1 and 2, um, which, which I am considering on getting when, I don't know. Uh, but there's also the Flight Unlimited series, where I have number three. I don't have one and two yet, uh, but I haven't done anything with those, and that's on my to-do list. Oh, really? So, was DCS kind of like your introduction into... Flight Simulator? Well, you did say that you enjoy the old Flight Simulators, too, so I... Which one was your first one? Ooh, okay, let's do... Let's fill up first class. Now, nah, let's do seven right there. We've got a total of 123 people that are going to be coming on here. Uh, so... What is that? One, 116. That's what we need here. Cargo. We'll just leave it like that. <laughs> I think that'll be fine. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, really? So, Microsoft Flight Simulator 1? It's got to be one. IPM PC Junior? Either one or two. Mine was uh, Sublogic Flight Simulator 2 for the Commodore 64. And I've got, I've, uh, got videos and I've done streaming with that one and also the Commodore Amiga as well. Ah, I am very close to your age. I am 49. I will be 50 this year. <laughs> it's funny. I was talking with someone and uh, um, they friends uh, 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 from church and stuff. And uh, they were saying... Uh, one referred to me as young man, and I'm like, well, I don't know. I'm going to be 50 this year. They, they, thought, they thought I was like, oh, you're 40, right? No. <laughs> going to be 50 here soon. <laughs> 1971. That was a long time ago. <laughs> 1971. Grew up as a child in the 70s. Grew up as a teenager in the 80s. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, that's... I miss the 60s. I miss the 60s. But 
I can't complain. Come on, I had the 70s. I had the little disco era. And then as a teenager, grew up during the 80s. Come on. I mean, what's... I got no complaints. <laughs> Let's get our doors open here. Gee, I don't think that plane's going to leave. So what I'm probably going to have to... Well, yeah, I'm going to have to... If I go anywhere else, it's going to say, Ground service is not available. Oh, good. It disappeared. Yay. <laughs> so there we go. Aerolinius Argentinas. <laughs> we can actually see what it is now. Yay. This door hasn't opened. Oh. Maybe it's because I don't have any power. That might be why. That could be why. Oh, let's see here. Dum dum da 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 dum dum da dum dum dum. Hmm, let's see, no, not what I want. I am looking for a specific... Public address, that's not it. Ha! There we go. So we got our run pre-flight events that we're going to be doing here. Oh no, it's not going to let me do the uh, pre-flight checklist. I can't reset that, can I? Oh, darn. I was hoping I'd be able to do the pre-flight checklist. That's a bummer. Or the pre-flight events. Yeah, darn it. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Shoot, 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 shoot. Maybe if I push 30? Nope, that don't work. Too bad there wasn't something here where I could reset FS2 crew. Yeah, nothing there that I can see. Okay, well, that's all right. We can run through stuff uh, inside here. I've got a little bit more light now. Okay, I was watching the tutorial earlier today, so let's see if I can remember everything here. We gotta turn on batteries. And emergency lights. And let's see, what else we gotta we gotta get the APU everything started here. Let's see, not those. Switch those to nav. And then we 
got to turn this over. Uh-oh. I've got a uh, red light there. Why is that? that's not a problem. We've got our external power going on here. Oh, that's right. I was going to open up the door. Or did the doors already open? I don't know why. This one didn't open. Oh, shoot. I've got the middle ones open. I could have sworn... Whoops. Oh, well, we got to turn that on anyway. <laughs> All right. Doors. Ah, okay. See, I was thinking the wings were in the middle... page. I don't know if we have to have any equipment. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get the stairs. Earlier I was testing things out and it was raining a lot more and I wound up getting a covered uh, ladder thing which was kind of neat. I was kind of hoping that. I'm using the historic uh, weather on Active Sky and I brought it back to earlier today and well it didn't quite give me what I wanted. That's okay. All right, what do we got here? Additional services. How about fuel? All right, catering service. Yep, gonna need some catering. We've got a long flight. Monochrome color. Oh, I bet. I bet that was expensive. Yeah, Santiago. I even uh, got payware uh, for the airport. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything for this. I, I did try custom content first, and it just didn't load right over this at all. Um, there used to be... Uh, something, but I'm not, it, it's not available to buy anymore. It was only, it was only five euros. So we just got to use the default on this one. But yeah, the, uh, Payway Airport that I got is the Latin, uh, VFR, uh, P3D4 and 5, uh, version 2. Checked it out beforehand, and it looks really nice. We gotta appreciate our workers here.
If only that guy had like headphones on or something and was jamming. <laughs> that would be awesome. The reason why that's happening is because I was uh, adding a camera angle for uh, Chase Plane. Oops, wrong one. That'll be me in a few years. Waiting for your action. Close. Rear entry. Aft. I'm probably going to have to do both there. Oh, shoot. I did the wrong one, not cargo. I need the, hey, yes, we got more rain. There they go. That guy's leaving. Apparently I got the wrong passenger door here. There we go. I wasn't sure how many times I would use GSX. When I saw it come out, I was like, oh, this is so cool. But then I was thinking, eh, I don't know if I would ever do it. But you know what? It's, <laughs> it's kind of fun, I think. It's kind of fun kind of horsing around with it. I was debating on whether I wanted to get the uh, 737 Immersion version 2 uh, from level 42. Um, I did get it for the Aerobus, but a lot of it, a lot of the little particles and stuff you don't really see unless you're doing exterior views and you can't... Um, you can't do it. You won't see anything if you do like the uh, instant replay or anything. But I figured, you know, let, let me fool around with the uh, the Airbus version 
first. And then I'll get the one for the 737. And the 747 for that matter. I think I would like to get the PMDG 777 as well. But I know that's one I want to get. Uh, and also the Quality Wings 787. But one of my next big purchases is going to be a VR headset. Those two planes just go uh, through each other. <laughs> that one disappeared. Here's the other truck right there. <laughs> it's like, I am using the uh, refueling thing. <laughs> Can we get rid of him? Okay, I think he's sort of refueling. No. Please use the refueling system of your aircraft. Isn't that what I'm doing? That's why I did this. So maybe I need to... Hold on. Let's just put in 20916. And there. Now, apparently we're, like, overweight a little bit. We have enough fuel. 90? <laughs> really? What do I do? Gotta do? Put 85 in here? I don't think 85 is gonna be enough. That's close enough. I mean, it's, it's just a tad bit over. I don't think that's going to cause much of a problem. Alright, is he fueling up now? 
Oh, he left. I don't know when this guy's gonna leave. There he goes. Okay. That works. Let's operate those stairs. Oh, I'm going to have to close both doors. I'd like to try to get the... Um, <clears throat> the covered... Uh, ladders, if possible. We'll make those go away there. All right, so we got our payload in, doors, not worried about pushback, cabin lights, that's on auto. Let's go to the FMC. was ARG. Yeah, ARG. Okay, perfect. Should have our flight and everything in there. Cruise altitude is going to be 3,700. <laughs> okay, I can't do that. We're going to need to use reserve fuel. Now, as far as our cruise altitude, what I tend to do here is grab that information from uh, Active Sky. So, right here. So, let's see. This is close. So, I'm going to be putting in 266 at 26. Two six six at sixty six. Wait a minute. Is that right? Sixty six? That seems awfully fast. Twenty six. Like it's like what the heck are we flying in a hurricane or something? Good there. I am not sure what our temperature is. I don't know. I'm just going to put 30. You know what? Five flaps I think is going to be fine. 15.
Okay, we need to get the runway first. I'm not sure what runway it's going to be just yet. But I think we've got just about everything in here. Right, anything else that I need to get on here? Gotta make sure. Okay, that light is on. Don't need to worry about that. I'm not ready to turn that on just yet. Y'all damper, that one. Y'all damper! Yeah, we need to have that one on there. I believe that is all fine. Let's turn this to 3,700. Okay, and then we got our landing altitude, which I'm going to grab that uh, from Navigraph here. Oh, by the way. It might help to show the actual flight, <laughs> which we haven't done here. Here is the flight. So we're up here, and we're going to be doing this really long flight over here down to San Diego. San Diego, Chile. Altitude is 1555. So let's get that in here. It'd be kind of cool if this actually had uh, <laughs> some effect on the plane, but it doesn't, as far as I'm aware. Alright, let's see if I can get some... Uh, some covered stairs. No! I can't get the covered stairs, darn it. Oh, shoot. I was hoping. It was cool with the covered stairs. Okay, where are we at here? Do I ever fly other aircraft? Uh, yeah, um, I did the Airbus uh, a couple of times. I do mostly general aviation. Um, and I think you could relate to that because um, that goes all the way back to the old uh, flight sim, which was a Cessna. Or, in my case, it was a Piper on the Commodore 64. So I have this connection to general aviation because of the old-fashioned, uh, uh, you know, VORs, NAV radios, ADF, uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, I do have some uh, general aviation aircraft when it comes to that. I have uh, three A2A aircraft. I've got the Bonanza V-35, which is my favorite. I have the Cessna 182, and I have the Comanche uh, from A2A. I also have the Dash, the Majestic Dash 8. Uh, I have the Quality Wings 757 collection. And a Virtual Coal has a CRJ uh, collection uh, that I got as well. So as far as the um, the heavies, if you want to call them heavies, uh, I've got those. And some of the other ones that I want to I want to get is like the Mad Dog. I want to get the Mad Dog. I think that would be awesome. Uh, 
let's see. Why is that showing up? Ah, that's right. Got to pull up my Vox ATC window. That tends to disappear. Okay, we don't have those on yet. So I'm pretty well versed in the uh, the general aviation, and I've been uh, trying to get more versed on these uh, airliners because I know uh, people really like to see them. Pingo Ground, Argentina, 1990. Radio check one two one point niner. Readability 5, also Argentina, 1990. Let's see if I can fix that sound. Hopefully that does the trick. Pingo Ground, Argentina, 1990, ready for clearance. Arturo Moreno Benitez International. Argentina, 1990, stand by. Argentina, 1990, clear to Arturo Moreno Benitez International Airport. Clear as the file. Maintain 6,000. Expect flight level 37010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 129.2. Squawk 3053. Argentina 1990 is cleared to Arturo Moreno Benitez International Airport. Cleared as filed. Maintain 6,000. Departure frequency 129.2. Squawk 3053. Argentina 1990, read back correct. Okay, let's. Set there. Well, I think we are ready uh, to start boarding. So let me get that pre flight checklist here going. Don't know which heading we're going to be taking off from yet. I'm going to take a I'm going to take a guess is what I'm going to do here. So we got a uh, runway 11 and a runway 20. Oh, you know what? I saw them take off from runway 11. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to... one one zero. Change this to six thousandths.
We gotta set our parking brake. And let's remove those chocks. I removed the chocks. I didn't remove the power. <laughs> Seriously? That's not what I did. Okay, I did not think that was going to happen. Like everything <laughs> that went right back to where it was. <laughs> okay. Do not remove the chalk blocks. <laughs> Do I have to reprogram everything in here now? I don't think so. I think we're okay. We'll find out here in a moment. Nah, everything's good. All right. Departure is going to be runway 11. Okay. There is our V1s, V2s. Okay, so V2 is going to be 146. I'm hoping I'm getting all this correct. saying I should get VNAV and LNAV clicked. Interesting how VNAV turns on, but LNAV does not. That one does turn on, though. Yeah, see, that doesn't turn on. That's I don't know why. I don't know why that doesn't turn on. All right, let's start loading. Pre-flight checklist, please. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Test it, 100%. Test it, 100%. Navigation transfer and display switches. Normal, auto. Window heat, off. Pressurization mode selector, auto. Flight instruments. Heading 110, altitude 6000. I'll try that again. Heading 110, altimeter 6000. Heading 110, altimeter 6000. Checked. Parking brake. Set. Engine start levers. Cut off. Pre flight checklist complete. Okay. Did remind me though that. Okay. Yes. Turn those on. But don't turn these on yet. And we can start Pack X here. Here 
they all come. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking back at your uh, messages. I'm surprised you're not using Pack X. <laughs> I just turned Pack X on. <laughs> yeah, Carinado I've got. I also got a Milviz aircraft. Uh, the Cessna T310 I have. lady there. Kind of walking through the uh, steps. Can I do cabin layouts for Pack X? No, not from what I've seen. I'll uh, pull that up so you can take a look at it right here. So we've got very satisfied passengers. Wing that, anti ice on. on. That might change. <laughs> no, see, this is this is it right here. So they're all kind of, you know, coming on board. Now keep in mind, this is not synchronized with GSX. So just, I just kind of put them on at the same time. But you can click on them and they'll tell you who it is and whether they're happy or not. To allow other passengers to find their seats as well. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, please leave the exit seating responsibilities in the safety card in the seat back in front of you. Please make sure you are willing and able to perform the actions required. If you are not able or prefer not to perform these actions, please let a flight attendant know so you can be received. I'm a fan of the Sims. Your portable electronic so during the boarding process. We ask that I love this. I wish there was a way we could connect the Sims to Flight Simulator. That would be awesome.
Red briefcases, oh no, they must be important. Join FS, yes. Uh, my viewers were recommending that I uh, uh, get into that. Uh, so that way uh, everyone can join me on my flights no matter what simulator they're on. So you can see that um, Pack X was already done loading before GSX was done loading. That's okay. I give the um, the preloading uh, extra time just in case. at here on uh oh man we still got a ways to go 62 out of whoops <laughs> if this to crew could still hear me i'm also using vox atc which I don't know if many um, YouTubers and uh, streamers are using Vox ATC. I think a lot of them use Pilot ATC, which I also have. But I like Vox ATC because it will generate its own traffic. It generates its own traffic and controls it. It's the only ATC program that does that. The other ones just kind of translate what's going on with the simulator when it generates the ATC traffic, but Vox ATC will actually control it. So, if anything, it works more like what ATC should, uh, should be like, because it'll actually put a plane in a holding pattern or, you know, whatever, it'll It'll have you hold short of a taxiway and you'll see like another plane just going by. It's Or they may have them wait to have you go through. It's little minor differences like that. So if you're used to the AI traffic that P3D uh, generates, you'll notice a difference when you use Vox ATC.
still got a little ways to go. We got 88 out of 144. So they are still loading. See, this one is going to give us our trim somewhere. Here it is, 586. I need to get this set up for my throttle. All right, 586. That's close. <laughs> flaps are going to be flaps five. That should do it there. I think this should... Okay, hold on. Set that to five. And I think that should do it. Are you ready for the departure brief? Go ahead. Okay, it's going to be a standard push back and start off from the stand. Taxi route will be assigned by ATC. It'll be a left seat takeoff using rated thrust, planning a FAPS 5 takeoff. Engine anti-ice will be on. In the event of a malfunction prior to V1, I will either call reject or continue. Standard low speed reject procedures below 80 knots. Between 80 knots and V1, I will only conduct a high speed reject in the case of an engine fire or failure, predictive wind shear warning, or if there's any condition that makes the aircraft unable or unsafe to take into the air. I will simultaneously close the thrust levers, disconnect the auto throttle, apply maximum manual braking or verify the operation of the RTO auto brake, apply maximum reverse thrust, verifying the extension of the speed brake and bring the aircraft to a complete stop and set the parking brake. We will then run the appropriate checklist and evaluate our options. If you can monitor my actions and make the standard reject takeoff calls, including any abnormalities that you observe before advising ATC. From V1, or if the call is to continue, I will continue the takeoff as per standard company yeah, procedures. Yeah, I've been using AIG we'll climb to too. the sector altitude and track clear of local traffic. What's nice we are is under Vox our ATC weight, will so we are okay to utilize the return. models All going well, and the, the flight plans. will be via ATC vectors. No noise abatement procedures required. VNAV is armed. Flight directors are on. Mine is master. Yours is slave. Navigation radios are set. The NOTAMs and the aircraft defect log have been reviewed. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Not today. Departure brief complete. Before... Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. Aircraft, say again. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Before start checklist of the line. Stand by. Hi. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get AIG like to work, but but yeah, I managed to get it working, and it's great. Verify takeoff speeds. Let's 
Let's start that again. Okay. Before start checklist of the line. Stand by. Start checklist to the line. Fuel 18.2 tons. Pumps on. Passenger signs on. Windows. Locked. Locked. MCP. V2146. Heading 110. Altitude 6000. Checked. Takeoff speeds. V1, like, V1, 138, VR, 140, V2, 146. Verify Complete. takeoff speeds. V1, 138, VR, 140, V2, 146. Checked. CDU preflight. Completed. Completed. Rudder and aileron trim. Free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Before start checklist completed to the line. Before start checklist below the line. We got a door light here. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Yay! They're boarded! Would you like the APU on? Yes, please. Starting APU. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 1990. Our flight time will be roughly 6 hours and 30 minutes. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down and stowed. Please fasten your seatbelt and make sure that all tray tables and seatbacks are in a full upright and locked position for departure. Cabin crew, prepare cabin for departure. Arrow, bisector. Hey, I haven't seen you in a bit. Yeah, you know what? We're going to be okay for the... Uh, I did a dress rehearsal APU of this on the buses. Uh, yesterday and made it just fine, so... I originally had this thing set to 100%, but it was saying it was overweight, so I brought it down some. Nope. <laughs> nope, not using SimBrief. We'll do that for another time. Before start checklist below the line. We got a door light here. We do not! Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> it's on this page. <laughs> of 
course, if I looked up here somewhere, yeah, one of these has got the door lights right there. Before start checklist below the line. Flight deck door closed and locked. Anti-collision light on. Before start checklist complete. Tango ground, Argentina 1990, request pushback. Roger, Argentina 1990. All right, we're ready for pushback. You know what? I'm actually getting a little better at my uh, Aerosoft Airbus. I've done a couple of flights with it already. Actually, three. Did I do three? No, two. And actually, that arrow that now that I've had a chance to play with it a little bit more, it's actually a, a pretty nice. Uh, uh, package that Aerosop uh, set is a pretty nice package. I like it. Remove jetway plug. Oh, I guess maybe that is what they want me to remove. I need to remove here. Oh yeah. Wheel chunks. Parcher check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Bienvenidos a Aerolíneas. Con más de 65 uh -oh. años de Hold antigüedad, on. somos una compañía en Legacy líder en Argentina, volando a 37 destinos dentro del país y 22 destinos internacionales con más de 340 partidas diarias. Contamos con cuatro corredores que conectan el país, sumando además el Hub Córdoba, un verdadero centro de distribución que conecta de forma dinámica el norte y el sur del país sin pasar por Buenos Aires, generando más y mejores conexiones a nuestros pasajeros. Año a año batimos nuestros récords en cantidad de pasajeros transportados, unimos empresas, integramos negocios entre el polo petroquímico y el polo petrolero y conectamos los principales puertos de Argentina con el corredor atlántico. Para optimizar nuestros servicios, disponemos de una flota totalmente renovada de más de 80 aeronaves e incorporamos constantemente nuevos aviones, disminuyendo así el promedio de antigüedad de nuestros aviones para garantizar un servicio de primer nivel. Además, unificamos la flota Airbus 330-200 y Boeing 737-800 y somos una de las tres compañías en el mundo y la primera en Latinoamérica en operar con el Boeing 737-800 MAX, una aeronave de última generación, más moderna y eficiente, que nos permite ofrecer el mejor servicio a nuestros pasajeros. Sabemos que nuestros pasajeros cuentan con llegar a destino a la hora pactada, 
Por eso ponemos nuestro foco en ser líderes en la región, peleando año tras año para ser reconocidos como la aerolínea más puntual de América Latina, superando por amplio margen a nuestros competidores. Nuestro foco es el cliente y poder cubrir sus necesidades. Por eso, además de tener la red de vuelo más completa dentro de Argentina, con una amplia cobertura en Latinoamérica y el Caribe, gracias a nuestros acuerdos comerciales con nuestros partners de SkyTeam, ofrecemos doble vuelo diario de Roma y Madrid y conectamos a nuestros pasajeros con los principales destinos corporativos de Estados Unidos y México. En abril de 2017, fuimos elegidos por la gente como el tercer mejor programa de pasajeros frecuentes del año en los Freddy Awards. Ampliamos los servicios adicionales, renovamos nuestra web, subamos seguidores en las redes y lanzamos Bravo, un nuevo concepto de entretenimiento a bordo con estrenos, películas clásicas, series internacionales, juegos y videos musicales. Mejoramos nuestro Salón Condor, un lugar pensado para que nuestros pasajeros puedan descansar, disfrutar de una nueva oferta de catering de la mano del chef Emanuel Sarlenga y la bodega Molinos, trabajar o simplemente relajarse yeah, right. de su vuelo o entre conexiones. SkyTeam. Somos parte de la alianza SkyTeam, compuesta por 20 aerolíneas de todo el mundo, permitiéndonos conectar a nuestros pasajeros con más de mil destinos internacionales, además de ofrecer los beneficios de Sky Priority, SkyTeam, Global Meetings y Sky Transfer. Sky Priority ofrece prioridad exclusiva en más de mil aeropuertos del mundo, brindando prioridad y atención especial al momento de hacer el check-in despacho de equipaje, right. control de seguridad de pasaportes, embarque y entrega de equipaje. SkyTeam Global Meetings, una herramienta online que permite a los participantes e interesados en asistir a eventos internacionales comprar sus pasajes con descuentos de hasta el 15% volando con todas las aerolíneas, miembros de la alianza, en más de 1.050 destinos. Además, por cada 50 tickets vendidos, el organizador recibe un pasaje liberado. Sky Transfer. El programa Sky Transfer en los centros de operación más importantes tiene como objetivo ofrecer trasbordo de pasajeros y manejo de equipaje eficientes y sin complicaciones. Aerolíneas Plus. Nuestro programa de pasajeros frecuentes y a nuestros clientes más fieles con la posibilidad de sumar cada vez que viajan con nosotros, con las líneas aéreas de la línea Argentina, utilizando los servicios de las empresas asociadas al programa. Ofrecemos tarifas corporativas flexibles con un producto moderno, so I did do some preparation before brindando hand. soluciones a cada problema gracias a nuestros equipos de profesionales capacitados en cada una de nuestras más de 70 oficinas en todo el mundo. Adaptamos la política de viajes de nuestros clientes a convenios eficientes y competitivos, ofreciendo además importantes descuentos a los destinos corporativos de la red de aerolíneas argentinas y austral, permitiendo que las empresas acumulen puntos para cambiar por waivers y facilitando que no queden pasajes sin usar. Sus proyectos y negocios se conectan con Aerolíneas Argentinas. There we go. Don't get to see the wipers very much. <laughs> the cabin is ready. Pingo Ground, Argentina, 1990 at Park 6, ready taxi with clearance. Taxi to runway 11, Argentina 1990. And there we go, we can see a plane coming in there. Getting nice, smooth performance here. As long as I don't. <laughs> we 
Oops. Engine start procedure. I guess I forgot to do that. <laughs> One one eight point five Argentina nineteen Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generators. On. Probe heat. On. Anti-ice. Engine and wing anti-ice are on. Isolation valve. Open. Engine start switches. Off. Recall. Checked. Auto brake. RTO. Engine start levers. Idle. Detent. Idle. Detent. Flight controls. Checked. Dispatch clearance. Checked. Checked. Before taxi checklist complete. Clear on the left. Clear right. Set 118.5 on COM1. Set. KLM 284. Clear to land runway 11. Wind 110 at 6. Clear to land runway 11. KLM 284. Okay, we should see KLM landing. That's another reason why I like Vox ATC is because you will get to hear uh, voices uh, from the um, actual aircraft where uh, pilot to ATC doesn't actually uh, do that. United 1269, uh, sorry about the delay. Do you have your company 737 on shore final inside? United 1269, affirmative. Roger that. Behind the landing, traffic line up one way behind. United 1269. Behind the landing, traffic line away. United 12. There he is. There's the KLM right there. is secure. Runway 11 line up and wait Argentina 1990. Before takeoff checklist please. Before takeoff checklist. Flaps. Flaps 5 green light. Stabilizer trim. 5.4 units. Before takeoff checklist complete. Runway entry procedure. Check. Clear on the left. Clear right. United 1269, wind 080 degrees 25, passing 35, runway 07, clear for takeoff. Runway 07, clear for takeoff. United 1 Ready to go.
Well, we're just waiting for ATC now. Maybe we're not quite in position yet. Argentina 1990, wind 110 at 6, clear takeoff runway 11. Pilot ATC does that too. They say winds instead of wind. Clear takeoff runway 11, Argentina 1990. Gear up. Gear up. Set 129.2 on time one. Set.
Okay, I'm going to mute that so that way we can hear them. Pingle approach, Argentina 1990 with you, leaving 3,900, climbing 6,000. Argentina 1990, Pingle approach, roger. 1,000 to level. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. Climb and maintain 15,000, Argentina 1990. that there seems to be a lot of noise coming from that it's gonna make it really loud it might be that environment there I'm not sure yeah I actually got VNAV working. <laughs> Yay! After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist, please. After takeoff checklist. Engine bleeds. On. Packs. Auto. Landing gear. Up and off. Flaps. Up. No lights. After takeoff checklist complete. Happy to release the cabin crew. Go ahead. Pump yes, please. Check. This is your captain speaking, Captain Killer Gamer. We are going to be cruising here at 37,000 feet. Hope you enjoy the flight. 
Have a killer awesome day. Because, you know, immersion. Hey there, Travis. How you doing there? Good to see you. Going pretty good. Climb and maintain 15,000. Join Airway Uniform Lima 576, Argentina 1990. Argentina 1990. Contact Mara, Vagisector 120, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 
Let's give you all some external shots here. I'll get rid of my head. So far, this is going pretty smoothly. I might actually be ready to fly this uh, again on Vaxim. Transition. I'm hoping this goes to this automatically since it's in here. This we'll find out. That Volanta, that looks like a Vatsim map. Hmm. It's really interesting.
Park Mar, Bus Center, Tam D139, with you at flight level 350. Tam 8139, Paramaribo Center, Roger. Climb and maintain flight level 330. Climb and maintain flight level 330, Argentina 1990. Climb and Tam 8140-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7-0-7
United 1269, the wind is 080 degrees, 25, gusting 35, runway 07, clear for takeoff. Runway 07, clear for takeoff, United 1269. Someone's not happy. Oh yeah, and as far as the uh, Airbus, I don't think I'm going to get the FS Labs. There was a controversy in regards to it having malware. No thank you. I don't feel like spending $80, $90 on software that's going to have malware in it. They can keep it. I would prefer just to get a um, $60, $70 Airbus for X-Plane uh, before I even consider and I won't consider getting FS Labs for P3D. No. I understand copy protection and stuff, uh, but what FS Labs did, no. That's where I draw the line. There are non-intrusive ways to do copyright protection. Yeah, right? Yeah, good old secure ROM. Remember that garbage? I still, I, I don't like the whole online activation thing. Because if the company goes under, you can't activate your product anymore. You know, if you change computers or something. Air Arabo Center, Air Canada 96, with you at flight level 3973, you ready for departure? Air Canada 96, Air Arabo Center, Roger. Line up and wait, runway 7. 
Center. Roger. Tam 81. Contact Rochambeau Center 126.9. 126.9, Argentina 1990, climb and maintain flight level 370. Climb and maintain flight level 370, Argentina 1990. Air Canada 96, contact Manaus Center 128.2. 128.2, Air Canada 96. Contact Rochambeau Center 126.9er. 126.9er, or about the delay, do you have your company 737 on short final, are you there? Air Canada 302, Air Amerigo Center, roger. Tam 8165, contact Manaus Center 12. Some breakfast, please. Okay, I'll bring them up in a minute. Thank you. Thanks. I thought they were supposed to say something. <laughs> Argentina 1990. Contact Manaus Center 128.2. 128.2, Argentina 1990. Set 128.2 on COM 1. Set. Hi guys, here are the crew meals you asked for. Enjoy. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Check. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Check. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Manaus Center, Argentina, 1990, with you leaving flight level 339 or climbing flight level 370. Argentina, 1990, Manaus Center, Roger. Manaus Center, Tan 115. With you at flight level 379er. Tan 115, Manaus Center, Roger. Almost to 37,000. United 1269, the wind 08, 0 degrees, 25, got 65, runway 07, clear for takeoff. Runway 07, clear for takeoff, United 1269. I'd like to see something like random aircraft failures and stuff. Not like planned ones, but you know, actual random ones. I remember back in the good old days with Flight Simulator, you could set it to uh, like a reliability of 99%, which was still a little too often. 1,000 to level. But it, a random... Uh, instrument would go out and I'd like to be able to see something like this I thought maybe they had like a third party piece of software that did that but you know like a fire you know fire engine light would come on or something
The flight crew has turned off the fasten seatbelt sign. You can now get up and move about the cabin. However, we ask that you keep your seatbelt fastened when seated in case of unexpected turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, we've reached our crew's altitude and expect a good flight for today. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your flight. Thank you. Alright. Everything looks good! Yeah! I think you have to set something here um, in order to do failures. But see, this looks like this doesn't look like random failures. I think you would have to go in here and actually click something specific and I would like to see something actually random, randomized. I'm not sure I don't I'm not sure where random uh is actually. I don't want to click anything <laughs> cuz I don't want to do uh random failures on this, but uh I have enough challenges trying to fly these birds, although I, although I think we're going to be good now, so. In a few moments, we'll be starting our in-flight meal service. Please look in your seat back for our menu, and one of our crew members so, will stop by shortly for your order. If you would like to order additional menu items, Zulu. please hit the flight attendant call button at it any time, like and we'll be over shortly to assist. So another seven hours? Mm -hmm. Well, we may not make it there in time. <laughs> I might have some pretty disappointed uh, passengers, but, you know, oh well. <laughs> I tried to calculate it. I went to a website to calculate the distance between the two as far as how long it would take, and it was like 6 hours and 15 minutes, so I gave it an extra 30 minutes. They are 100% satisfied, though. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. One, two, seven, three. You ready for departure? Hey, perfect. Line up and wait. Runway seven. One, two, seven, three. Line up, wait. Zero seven, southwest. We just recently crossed over into Brazil. Let's go ahead and show that there. Here we are. Came out of Suriname there. We are on our way. What's over here? American 107. Manaus. So we're going to be flying over Manaus, it looks like.
72% fuel. <laughs> we might have to do some manual filling up, up in the air. <laughs> Like I said, when I did this, it was 100% fuel. But it was telling me, hey, we're, now that we're up in the air, why don't we adjust it a little bit? If it lets me. I don't know, it may not. American 1297, main house center. Roger. All right, 71.4. I had to bring it down to what? It's like 88, 89 or something like that. Let's add 10 to that. Um, so that's going to be 81.4. United 1269, uh, sorry about the delay. Do you have your company 737 on sure final? There we go. United 1269, affirmative. That's what I had originally behind tested with. Was a hundred percent. Yeah, we're about eighty one percent there. That's that's better. Manal Center, American one zero nine. American 109, And the air chatter, that is FSATC chatter, which I guess you could say is the um, sibling of XATC chatter for X Plane. If you have one, you don't have to buy the other. Uh, most people, if they have the chatter, they already have XATC chatter. Uh, so you, all you have to do is download the demo, the free demo, and then just copy your chatter files right on over. They've got instructions on how to do that on their website. So I got FSATC chatter just going on in the uh, background there. Six door right, heading one nine zero. Right, one nine zero American five four six. Might have helped if I had actually changed it manually. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, so as far as the failures are concerned, it would be interesting to have a random instrument go out, or at least an option. That way I don't know what's coming, um, and I don't know when it's coming. That makes it a little bit more interesting and challenging. Because you have to kind of think on your feet and, you know, do all that. Man House Center, American 125, with you at flight level 380. American 125, Man House Center, Roger. We got uh, robots and ghosts uh, speaking with each other. <laughs> Can't do anything with those. American 109, contact from Marva Center 120.0. 120.0, American 109. Got nothing but American Airlines out there right now.
I've got AI traffic set low. Maybe about 30%. Because I've had some issues with, with the frames. I think a lot of it had to do with the enhanced atmospherics, which I've turned off. I'd like to do a little bit of uh, both. Because I still have uh, P3D 4.5, which I've got uh, installed over on Windows 7. And I'll still do flights with 4.5 just because I have things set up differently on that one. So, for example, I've got I've got Active Sky, I've got American Active Sky Cloud Center. Art, uh, but I also have Rex. I have Rex Sky Force 3D and Rex Environment Force, uh, which I tend to use those two uh, uh, for the textures and stuff and the clouds and the Active Sky as the uh, weather injector. And I was using Orbix uh, for it, but obviously I'm going to use Orbix for version 5, so I want to do something different uh, for version 4.5, and I know just what I want to do. Bring that up here. Maybe. Air Canada 91, we announce center, roger. American 2547, contact approach control 121.2 today. 212, uh, thanks American, stop it. Okay, so this is what I want to get for uh, P3D version 4.5. Uh, 
so that way I can have a different setup and a different look uh, than version 5. So I've been looking at this for quite a while. Um, so it's ground environment, P3D World Edition. Uh, this works in conjunction Hotel with um, Ultimate Terrain. I guess we're going around in circles there. That I thought they had some uh, night shots. But yeah, that is specifically for prepared. Um, and then they have the uh, the old ones for FSX. They've got the grand environment for uh, North America, Europe. Gee, I don't know if... <laughs> USA and North America, I don't know if those are specific or not. And here's Europe, uh, version 2, Canada, Atlantic, Pacific, Africa... Australia, Asia, South America. So these would be great for, like I was thinking like the FSX boxed edition, these here. Whereas, you know, I can use Orbix with FSX Steam edition, because then there are some things there that are going to work the way they should that don't work correctly with uh, prepared P3D. That includes custom content. And then there was Ultimate Terrain. And so these would work on P3D version 5 um, as well. So you've got... So, I mean, it adds up. Because you're paying $90 for this and then $30 for each of these. Um, but this would cover... Most of the world. You've got Europe, Canada, Tropical, America, and Caribbean. There's not uh, Africa, though. But this is, this is just terrain. But anyway. So this would give you all the meshes and stuff. This, so mesh replacement. This would give you... Um, Texture replacements. So yeah. Things down the line that I like to do so that way I can do a variety of different simulators uh, on the channel and give you all different experiences. That way you can see some flights with Orbix and you can see some flights with ground environment. You'll get to see flights using Mega Scenery Earth. Manal Center, Air Canada 25. Is your athlete level 400? Air Canada 25, Manal Center, Roger. American 962, contact Georgetown Center 128.6. 128 I think we can push standard on this now.
Okay, I'm going to step away for a little bit and give you some uh, full screen cinematics that you can enjoy, uh, enjoy. So I will be back in just a little bit. Center, Air Canada 12, with you at flight level 410. Air Canada 12, 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 Center, Air Canada 7059, with you at flight level 400. Air Canada 7059, Van Alps Center, Roger. Code 445, Van Alps Center, Roger. Yep, Blue 38. Yep, Blue 38, uh, with you, 146, climbing to level 182. Yep, Blue 38, flying to level 340. I'm going to be able to take this to Bravo Tango Oscar. And uh, climb to 340. Man Center, Tan Cargo 8478, with you at flight level 340. Tan Cargo 
contact control, one four six one one. Twenty four one, jump to uh, thirty yeah, jump to thirty eight, thank you. Okay, so I'm here for just a little bit. It's actually raining here, and sometimes we have a problem in this room where water starts to flood in if it rains too much. So hopefully I won't have to take time and uh, soak up water into a bucket. Which I've had to do before. I think I might lose some of the stuff over here, though. <sighs> okay, that's just going to fall off. Stay. There, I will stay. Hello, over on YouTube. How are you doing there? Oh, good. It sounds like the rain stopped. I was also worried that the power might go out, so. If the stream just abruptly ends, it's because the power went out. <laughs> and Delta 573, contact 1975. 1975, Delta 573, good day. Bye. Well, here's where we are so far right there uh, Manaus is right here so we're in Brazil and we got about that much left of the flight so <laughs> it's gonna be a nice long relaxing flight we'll have some uh, in-flight entertainment as well One two six point three, Argentina nineteen ninety. Set one two six point three on COM one. 
set. Manaus Center, Argentina 1990 with you at flight level 370. From Japan, Japanese is uh, perfectly fine. Yeah. I can, um, I'll try to, I don't know Japanese, but I can use a translator. So, uh, I apologize if it doesn't translate correctly. <laughs> But no, by all means, uh, speak in your native language, or write in your native language, and I'll try to translate it the best I can. I had set up some various inside shots, so <laughs> we've got uh, passenger window, got one over here, one over here, <laughs> can look back, look at that, we have an empty flight. Descend. Descend. American 2546, contact 121, decimal 2. 21, decimal 2, American 2546. Adjust vertical speed. Adjust. <laughs> Whoa, I just saw it. Clear of front <laughs> Look at that. With the test flights that I've done, I swear these planes are like missiles. They're like coming. They're like coming after us. By the way, I just said hello and welcome in Japanese, or at least I said it, or wrote it. Saying it, 
would be Konichiwa Yokoso, I think. I have to listen to my other <laughs> headset here. Konichiwa Yokoso. Manau Center, American 213. Yokoso. Human yeah. <laughs> Am I an airplane driver or basically an airplane pilot? What I said was, I am not. I am an entertainer and a video producer. So, not really a gamer. Just, and, well, I love games, but, you know, I'm an entertainer. Um, as far as how to say that, I, I don't want to try saying that. That looks a little complicated. Uh, what else did they say? Let me see. I'm sorry. Oh, no need to be sorry. I didn't think about this. Okay, so here is the uh, Japanese version of I am an entertainer and video producer. Watashi wa entertainer de ari, video producer desu. Hopefully that made sense. So they say, so that's it. Center, Delta and another question here. Is that difficult? So what I am saying now is that it is time consuming and a lot of work. American 
それは時間がかかり多くの作業です。Yeah, there's no way I'd be able to say that. <laughs> Manaus Center, American 904, with you at flight level 360. American 904, Manaus Center, Roger. Okay, so I'm just、uh, letting them know that I will be back in just a few minutes and we will do some cinematic flights. Now, Center, American 36, with you at link level 410. American 36, on our center, Roger. Center, American 44, with you at flight level 370. United 16, 1, 6, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4
man by center. I'm and I am back. With you at flight level 370. American 17, on our center. Roger. For a short bit, I'm going to be heading out to get a drink to bring back. Westchester 599, good afternoon. Climb on restricted to flight level 340. Level okay, we are getting close to Manaus. I'm not sure how far away it is. But we are getting close. So, right down here, let me change this. Tappen. Okay, it's like right here. So what are we about 10, 20 miles? Something like that? This is it right here. Yes, yeah, so we got 40 miles left to Tepham. Another 13 to Regep. And this is Manaus. The city of Manaus. That's about 24 miles. That didn't translate. Can be icon. Not sure what that means. Welcome back. <laughs> Arigato gozaimashita. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Let's check on our passengers here. They are 95% satisfied. I don't know what happened to the 100%. We've got our flight attendants here. And our passengers there. 
Manaus Center, Delta 33, with you at flight level 360. Delta 33, Manaus Center, Roger. Reduce speed 200 knots. 200 knots, Delta 573. So for our Japanese viewer, I was just letting them know that the passengers are mostly satisfied with the flights. So there we go. No? I must have said it wrong. Oh, we're turning. So is Manaus... Manaus? <laughs> I don't see Manaus. Where is Manaus? Not yet, apparently. I think it's up here. So here we are, this is Manaus right there, right here, Manaus. So it's coming up. So here are some pictures of Manaus. That is very pretty right there. bit of sightseeing while we fly. Uh, Manaus is the capital and the largest city of the Brazilian state of Amazonas. <laughs> Amazon. It's the seventh largest city in Brazil with an estimated 2020 population of 2,219,000. Uh, the city was founded in 1669. It was elevated to a town in 1832. Uh, let's see here. They have the sixth largest economy in Brazil. This is where the Eduardo, Eduardo Gomez International Airport is at. So 
so this here is the Amazonas Theater. That's in Manaus. And that's it. That's Manaus right down there. So we're flying over Manaus there, folks. Uh, the airport. <laughs> I'm not sure where the airport's at here. Oh, wait, wait. I think that's Manaus. Yeah. Manaus Center, TAM 8063. Okay, the airport. It's like right over here? Yeah, the airport's right over here somewhere. Now, we're not landing there. I'm just kind of giving you some uh, landmarks and stuff. A little bit of sightseeing while we fly. I am from United States. I am from the US. Will that translate if I yeah. <laughs> United States. <laughs> That's how that uh very good five four six Catholic one two one decimal two. Two one decimal two American two five four six. Or basically that. Manaus Center. America nine. America one. Which you want to fly the level three five zero. America nine fifty one Manaus Center Roger. My wife ordered some barbecue pizza, so <laughs> we got some good stuff coming. Yes, it is. They're saying it's a place with a lot of Corona. So what I am saying there is it is, but my family has not gotten sick from it. I'm not much a believer of it. I am I know there's something going around, but I don't think it's... I don't trust the government. And I think it's awfully interesting that the... Uh, American 2546, uh, maintain 200 knots of the Mavic after Mavic comply with the approach. Mavic that you don't hear much talk about the flu, but you hear everything about the, the, the pandemic. So, I don't know. I find that a little suspicious. North Center, American 929, with you at flight level 390. American 929. But that is a whole nother topic that... We don't like to talk about.
Oh, wow. They're saying that Japan is also increasing in Corona. Hmm. I, I didn't hear that. So I'm going to say, I did not hear about that, I am sorry. One, two, three point eight, Argentina, 1990. Tancargo, 8472. Contact on our set to one, two, three point eight. Set one, two, three point eight on COM1. Set. Manal Center, Argentina, 1990, with you at flight level 370. Argentina, 1990, Manal Center, roger. Manal Center, Tancarbo 8472, if you have flight level 339. Oh yeah, we've we passed the airport, and <laughs> we're not going to be able to see it now. Manal Center, roger. Manal Center. This is where we are, though. Right here, so... About a fourth of the way through? How much fuel we got? 70%? Yeah. <laughs> Might have enough? I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, they responded that it's okay. American 912, Center, Roger. I'm going to respond, I hope you stay healthy. Okay, so just letting them know uh, that I will be back. Um, I'm gonna be go. I'm, I'm gonna go get myself a drink. Um, but we've got some music here that we're going to play. And this is uh, my music. So, uh, while I go get my drink, we're going to be playing some music uh, that I put together. Uh, this is with the Magic's Music Maker. So, some in-flight entertainment, and I will be back in a little bit.
Permission to attack. Permission to shoot. Waiting for confirmation. Confirm now. Access allowed. Mission starts in 30 seconds.
Chasing this paper and rolling dubs So my money never out of sight And I'm all swagged up with the red and green stripes You can bring it out, you ain't got a front Dial 101, hope you can't stun Tell you just once, you don't want no problems And there'll be nothing if you don't start some Blowing up, showing up, holding up In these projects, and they can't get enough So real these skills you feel Sucker MCs better head for the heat. I moonwalk on the beat like Michael Jackson. And when I'm on the mic, it's time for action. No relaxing, just satisfaction. You take the flow out, well, I put it back in. The fire's getting stronger. You don't have a chance. Here comes the end. Yes, check, check, check the run. Summer when I ride out
I am back. Got myself a drink here. It's a flavored rock star uh, called a Beach Babe. <laughs> it's got, I it just said it was like peach, pineapple, passion fruit. Uh, mixed in with uh, a rock star base. So just letting our uh, 
Japanese viewer know there that I'm back and I have a rock star drink that has peach, passion fruit, and pineapple mixed in it. <laughs> Mano Center, Ivy Anchor 270, with you at flight level 350. Ivy Anchor 270, Mano Center, Roger. Let's go ahead and talk about where we are right now. We're right here. That looks to be about a third of the way through. <clears throat> Let's see, 17... 23 Zulu time. Looks like we have four hours. <coughs> Mano Center, Avianca 9525. We do a click level 370. So we'll be putting in there. Four more hours of flying. Some juice, please. One juice, please. Okay, I'll bring the drinks up in a minute. Hey guys, here are the drinks. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah. Just like mom used to make them. No, not really. <laughs> not really. Well, this is 599. Good afternoon. Climb on risk 3. This is fly level 3, 4, Flight unrestricted, flight level 340, let's hit 2599. Don't think we're going to have enough fuel. Sixty four percent, and we're a third of the way through. <coughs> Sad. Blue 38, Blue 38 uh, with you, 14-6, climbing flight level 182. Blue 38, flying to flight level 340. I'm going to have to 
and uh, 22340. I know, you're all like, that's cheating, man. <coughs> but I was able to do it on 100% before, so I'm just, I'm going off of that. <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. forgot about that. <laughs> Jalapeno poppers. Potato jalapeno poppers. to 4.15 Argentina 1990. <clears throat> Set 1 to 4.15 on COM 1. Set. Holy Clear smokes. of conflict. <laughs> How fast is that going? That was fast. That's like twice as fast as what we're going. And I guarantee you that was not a Concord. Manaus Center, Argentina 1990 with you at flight level 370. How about some uh, Star Trek Online here while we're uh, flying? We'll play a character that I 
I think I might have played once over on Killer TV. In a few moments, we'll be starting our in-flight meal service. Please look in your seat back for our menu, and one of our crew members will stop by shortly for your order. If you would like to order additional menu items, please hit the flight attendant call button at any time, and we'll be over shortly to assist. Officer, I'm really interested in the whole new officer thing. All right, red alert, Borg. Yes, always enjoy uh, fighting the Borg. How are you going to spend your winnings? That's a good question. And Delta Five Seven Three, contact 1975. Have a uh, defiant class ship. Which I really like. Apparently that didn't go well. what I get for uh, fighting the Borg by myself. I think I have access to. Oh, there they are. They're over here. I usually have this in full screen, but. Marks, maybe, I guess. Let's see, we can fight the Alachi, then the Cool. We'll do the, uh, how about the Tholians here? Used to play those a lot. 
when they used to have them all the time there used to be like a red alert button that was down here in the corner now they only bring them in every once in a while And yes, there's Borg here too. There's one right there. in the stories right now. Galaxy at large? Oh, that's the Klingon Civil War there. Some on this part right here. Thinks there used to be a lot more missions here under the uh, Klingon War. It's really annoying that they have removed so many of them because there were a lot of great stories there. Come see me at Earth Space Dock. Well, do we have enough here to choose from? Pelican 2547, descend out to 1 at 3000 and maintain 2520. Cool pilot's probably thinking, what's the pilot doing? Welcome to Josana. You're talking to a Ferengi, that. that's what I'm doing. We have a Longhouse Center, Bavianca 211. That was weird. <laughs> I was playing outside there for a moment. It's an Iconian ship right there. In case you're all were wondering. Monos Center, Avian 86. With you at flight level 360. Avian 
Ibaka 86, Monau Center. Roger. Contact approach control 121.2 today. 212, uh, thanks American. You've done excellent work so far, so I want to expand the range of your mission profiles. There are trouble spots all over the galaxy. Good Starfleet captain never shies from engaging with trouble and trying to solve problems. Within the bounds of the Prime Directive, of course. Hmm, this seems different. You'll find patrols at systems scattered all across the quadrant, where enemy ships or local problems need help. We also have trouble spots in other parts of the galaxy, such as Nimbus 3, Drozana Station, and the Defera system. Check into these kinds of trouble spots, as time permits. I wonder if those are the other missions that they took out of the story. They got more for the Romulan story than they do the uh, original Klingon War. That was like two full pages of, of missions as it used to be. <clears throat> Pick up Damar Khan on Starbase 114 and bring him to Starbase 39 Sierra. Starbase 114 is located in the Celis system in the Beta Club. This is 387, afternoon rate at Concordia Baruch, Papa, 128,000, expect that LSD to the running. Still 387, right? Alright. Let's head on out. We'll do one story. Beam up, Damar Kane. Okay. Hello, Admiral Quinn told me that you would be available to take me to Starbase 39 Sierra. From there, I'm going to the Hobus system. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about where all the hobos are. Fascinating place. <laughs> I've made it my life's work. This life, anyway. This life. I am a trill. Some among my people are lucky enough to be joined with a symbiotic life form. We share our bodies with them, and in return they share lifetimes of knowledge and memories with us. I am Khan's seventh host, and most of us have been scientists. My predecessor, Lenara Khan, was working to create artificial wormholes. I studied the effects of supernova. Eighteen fifty-one. That's uh, they were asking uh, what time. Goodbye. In America, it's goodbye. <laughs> Tell me about the Hobus system. In twenty-three eighty-seven, the star in the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion devastated the planets in the system, of course. But then it created a chain reaction that cut a path of destruction more than 500 light years long. More than a dozen systems were affected by the Hobus event. <coughs> Most notably, <coughs> the Romulus system. Both Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Billions lost their lives. 
87. The thing is, an M-class planet like Romulus should have been protected by its stellar magnetosphere and its planetary magnetic field. They act like shields to protect the planet from radiation, and a supernova blast is highly energetic radiation. If the supernova is large enough, it will overwhelm those defenses, but the Romulans should have had decades to prepare for the wave's arrival. As it was, they only had hours. Goodbye. <laughs> Didn't Starfleet try to help the Romulans? Ambassador Spock attempted to organize an evacuation, but the Romulan Senate refused. I guess they thought they had more time. That was a horrible time. Ambassador Spock had a plan to stop the wave, but after the destruction, a Romulan named Nero blamed him. Nero had a ship of awesome power. We still don't know everything about the Narada, but we think the Romulans used Borg technology to create it. Hmm. Well, yeah, this seems new. I don't remember this. But they do talk about the destruction of Romulus, um, which was in the Star Trek reboot movie. Nero destroyed dozens of our ships, and even attacked a Klingon fleet led by General Wolf. Wolf barely survived. Ultimately, Nero confronted Spock in the Hobus system. Spock managed to use red matter to create an artificial singularity to contain the worst of the supernova's blast, but both he and Nero were lost. Goodbye. So, what is the current Romulan political situation? In a word, troubled. Sela rules what remains of the Star Empire, and isn't shy about using the Tal Shiar and the military to bring systems back into the fold. Meanwhile, Ditan and his unificationists have formed the Romulan Republic. The Federation and the Klingons recently recognized them at Kittimer, while Empress Sela and her allies express their disapproval violently. Tensions remain high. Monaus Center, Osio 9119, with you at flight level 370. Osio 9119, Monaus Center, roger. <laughs> Apparently it's like almost 11 o'clock in the morning there in Japan. So I am saying good morning. That made that disappear. <clears throat> I put a smiley face on there. The Remans have formed a resistance movement in response to Imperial persecution. There's a the lot of bad blood between Remans and Romulans that could end up. Even more. The former Imperial Praetor. She was ousted from power by Sela, and rumor has it she's in powerful allies from both within the Empire. Brazil, by the way. Sela made a lot of enemies over the years. It's doing that automatically because I'm not, uh... Goodbye. <laughs> moving anything. Are you ready to go? Packed and ready. The USS Tucker is waiting for me at the Starbase. They'll be taking me to the Hoba system. Maybe this time we'll find the clues we need to solve this mystery. The USS Tucker. Goodbye. As in Trip from Enterprise.
Oxio 4, A128, Monau Center, Roger. So our friend is saying, is is this a game that you can have a communication with? And yes, uh, it's right there. Although mine is set up to where I can't hear anything. I managed to be able to silence them. bit of slipstream drive there. Memo Center, time 3767, with you at flight level 330. Time 3767, Monau Center, roger. So we're gonna beam over the uh, fellow. Thank you for your assistance. Is there anything else you want to know? Are you scared to go into Romulan's face? Never! The crew of the Tucker can handle <laughs> anything the Romulans can throw at us. Besides, you can only learn so much from sensors and probes. To really understand the Hoba system, we need to be there. What else can you tell me about Romulan space? The Romulans are touchy. Watch what you say or you'll be in for a fight. The Remans don't even bother talking before they fire, so I think they're more dangerous than the Romulans. Sela's found some new allies, too. They're from the Delta Quadrant, but I don't know much about them. What should I do now? Wish me luck! Oh, and I'd check in with Admiral Tanay before you leave. She might have new orders for you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. You may have heard about the tragedy at Kittimer. Empress Sela attempted to disrupt the conference with a bomb, resulting in the death of Commander Tamer. Now, Sela is offering a political reconciliation with the Federation, despite the fact that we have allied with the Romulan Republic. She has invited Federation diplomats to meet with her delegation, at a secure base on the edge of the neutral zone. However, we have recently received intelligence that Sela is amassing a fleet. We are sending you with the peace delegation as cover for your investigation into Sela's activities. This is a very delicate situation. You must try to covertly obtain information about Sela's plans without disrupting our peace efforts or upsetting Sela. However, we do have an Aero agent Mexico in her who will help you. Monau Center. Roger. Alright, those are the rewards that I would get. I have new missions for you. Oh, I bet you do. <clears throat> so, just a little bit of Star Trek Online there. And Delta 573, contact 1975. 1975, Delta 573, good day. <laughs> Bye. Our friend is saying it's ridiculous. I think, uh, loosely translated, uh, I think uh, they're probably saying that's that's crazy. So, <clears throat> but we'll go ahead and turn that off. Here we are, almost halfway through there, and 
we're approaching the border of Brazil right there. past the city right there uh, that appears to be G Piranha so that's G Piranha right there So here are some pictures of G Piranha in Brazil. That's what we flew over. Uh, there is this river, which, uh, there it is, I think right there. There's the river. Piranha. <clears throat> I got some interesting facts up here about it. It's the second most populous municipality in the Brazilian state of Redonia. The city economy is in industry and dairy production. The city was also the first of Redonia State to invest in high technology of data transmission when it connected through a wireless network, the City Hall. The municipality name comes from Tupi, meaning Great River of Access. And there is an airport there called the Jose Colito Airport. Not too much other information that I could find there. So VR, that's a thing. And this is what I'm looking to get right here is the Oculus Rift S. Now I know some people have been saying that the Oculus Quest 2 would be better, but I've been I've been watching videos, I've been reading people's comments, and they're saying that this is better uh, in regards to PCs, um, and it doesn't require as much power from the PC as the Quest 2 does. 
Also, the Quest 2, you have to connect a, uh, a data link cable. And so the computer's having to... First, you have to use software because the Quest 2 uh, is standalone. But you have to use this software that kind of emulates it on a desktop to run the PC stuff. So not only does that kind of slow things down, but then the cable itself also slows things down. So I don't know. I mean, it's hard It's hard to tell because uh, there are some videos where it looks like the Oculus Quest 2 works out pretty well. Um, I seem to be seeing them more videos with uh, Flight Sim 2020 than I have anything else. And I want to use this on Flight Sim 2020 and uh, P3D, X-Plane, as well as uh, Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, No Man's Sky, Minecraft. <laughs> so... I don't know. This is why I'm I'm really really leaning on getting this. PC specs. I mean, I've got a RTX 2070 that should be much better than this. Uh GPU or CPU, I have an i7. See, and that's fourth generation right there. And I, I have a i7-4779 or something like that, K. Uh, definitely got a lot more memory than that. Video out, output, display port. I do have a display port. And I also have a mini display port. So either one of those would work. Um, also, USB port. So I have that. 3.0. Yep, I have it on, on, on that. Plus, Windows 10. Which means I will not be able to play this uh, with um, P3D 4.5 because it's, it's over on Windows 7. Then a one, yeah, you get all this stuff platform. here. And you get a cable and controllers and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I might place an order in here within a week. I want to try to do some more uh, searching. It says you have to spend extra money to get a data cable for the Oculus Quest 2. And you know, honestly, I, I don't see myself getting standalone games for it. I really just want to use it for Flight Simulator. Oh, gonna do some multitasking over here. I got some. Oops, I need to retitle that. I have some thumbnails I need to work on uh, for some previous live streams that <laughs> don't don't have a thumbnail, so I need to work on that. Center, Emirates 9840, with you at flight level 330. Emirates 
Jones 9840, Monhouse Center, Roger. American 2547, contact approach control 121.2 today. 212, uh, thanks American, started. Now center, GOL 7698, with human flight level 380. Goal 7698, Monhouse Center, Roger. Delta 387, give the barrel one, Papa 35. Delta 387, definitely rate at contact here, barrel one, Papa 20,000. Get inspect that LSD, you need to be running. Delta 387, right? Trying to find a good screenshot from that stream. I downloaded it as a backup. Ooh, 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 I just came across something.
as soon as I get done with it, I'll show you which one um, I put together. One two three point nine or Argentina nineteen ninety. Set one two three point nine or on com one. Set. La Paz Center, Argentina nineteen ninety with you at flight level three seven zero. Argentina nineteen ninety. La Paz Center Roger. Okay. Let me go back. To that thumbnail and I will show you which one I did. Get blue 38. Get blue 38 uh, with you 146 climbing flight level 182. Get blue 38 climbing to flight level 340. I'm going to able to take you to Bravo Tango Oscar. And uh, climb to 340. Okay, great. I got that done. So let me show you the thumbnail that I just made for one of the uh, live streams, previous live streams. So I'm a little behind on that, but yeah, since this is a long flight, this gives me the opportunity to... to get those done. I hope that actually <laughs> come on now I just put that on there it's funny because it's not showing on It shows on my side, but it's not showing on the viewer's side at the moment. But I got another way to show you. Okay, so this is it right here. Um, I did it for the Los Angeles to San Francisco flight, uh, which has got uh, Active Sky, the M Shade Text and Sound, Mega Scenery Earth, California, which I wasn't sure if I was going to use or not. Um, 
because I thought I was going to use Orbix, but when you when you start seeing the photo realistic scenery in, in something like Flight Sim 2020, it gets kind of hard to <laughs> to go to anything different. Is that Los Angeles Airport that I We got more jets trying to hit us. Delta Heading one nine zero. Right, one nine zero American five four six. I have no idea what just fell.
go. That's not too bad. American 546, contact 1 to 1, decimal 2. 2 1, decimal 2, American 2546. La Paz Center, Argentina, Tailton, Silver, Tilon. Okay, so we are out of uh, Brazil now, and what country are we in here? Bolivia. We are in Bolivia right now. So here we are. Right there. Just entered Bolivia. So I gotta pass through here, get to the border and come all the way through and we'll be in there and we'll be in there like Flynn. <laughs> we'll be there in Chile. Have some chili. Yeah, we'll have enough fuel this time. La Paz Center, Argentina 1305, with you at flight level 350. We're seeing a lot of Argentine, we're well, seeing a lot of the same airlines now that. That I've got so <clears throat> here are all the AI flights that are flying in the area they are also Aero Lineas Argentinas different colors than what I have and one of these <laughs> one town but yeah the rest of one of that RJP, hey buddy, good to see ya. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a hop. Let's go to the hop. Let's go to the hop. Eric O'Leary. Oh yes, oh my oh my goodness, I'm flying the plane again. But this is the PMDG 737. I can actually fly this. Uh, better than the Air, Air, uh, Airbus. But uh, the last couple of flights I did with the Aerosoft Airbus uh, went pretty decently. I have a better understanding on how the Airbus works now. But as far as the 737, nah, man, this great plane. I, I, I love this. How much do I get paid as a pilot? <laughs> I don't. I am not really a pilot. I just play one on TV. <laughs> no, I'm an I'm an entertainer. I'm an entertainer and a uh, video producer. And that's it right here. So as far as like an actual job job, nope. I used to have one of those. And then there was that pandemic thing that went around and that job went bye bye. And since then I've been doing this full time, which is something that I've always wanted to do. So am I making money off of it? No. <laughs> But as we get more uh, subscribers on YouTube, building up the community, um, eventually I can start making something there, as well as building up the community on Twitch. Um, I'll be able to make something there. And uh, for those of you who uh, like to you like the entertainment that I provide and, and would like to uh, help support what it is that I do, uh, greatly appreciate it. I would rather do this than uh, waste my time with something else. 
Um, there are bonuses and stuff for uh, subscribing on Twitch, um, as well as subscribing over on Patreon. Uh, Patreon has got a whole lot of bonuses and all kinds of stuff over there. If anything, I like to think of it as a whole other channel. You get to see um, uh, exclusive stuff, uh, alternate uh, takes on videos that I did that I didn't use, um, prototypes for series that I decided not to do, <laughs> uh, early access to videos. There's like there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. So I mean, if if you're like one of those that likes to collect shows on DVD or Blu-ray and you like all those little extras and stuff. Um, I think you'll like what I have to offer over on Patreon. There's a whole bunch of stuff like that. A lot of this air traffic has been <laughs> aiming for us. I mean, literally, it's like they're shooting missiles or something. Fifteen hundred hours on the FS Labs A320. See, I probably won't get anything like that on any type of aircraft. Um, just because I bounce between a lot of different simulators. Uh, the old simulators, the new simulators. Although I probably have maybe 1,500 hours invested in uh, Flight Simulator 98. <laughs> and probably FS9. I'm not sure if I have that many hours on the Commodore 64. And I knew I played those a lot when they first came out. Let's zoom out here. I am not using enhanced uh, atmospherics, and I'm getting much better frame rates. Uh, than what I have in the uh, other ones. I really hope that Active Sky or maybe even Rex will be able to get uh, uh, be able to do something with the enhanced atmospheric, something more than what they can do, you know, some cloud art uh, to really poof up those uh, clouds, because it's a step in the right direction. I mean, you can see how some of this kind of looks like two-dimensional down here, but yet the uh, the clouds with the enhanced atmospherics, well, one, it seems to kill frames. Uh, and two, either they look like cotton balls or marshmallows. I've been working on uh, some much needed thumbnails for previous streams. I 
I'm going to pull up the one that I just worked on. I've got, uh, what, two others? I think two others to do. So I just made this uh, thumbnail here. This was for the P3D flight from LA to San Francisco with the uh, mega scenery. Yeah, I've got a couple more I got to work on. Um, I did a flight from Phoenix to Oklahoma. That was on the Airbus. And also Portland, Oregon to Whitehorse. Uh, Yukon Territory. So don't mind me, I'm just going to multitask over here on the side. actually won't take too long for me to do now. Since I've already got a template here I can use. What's she the doing in South America? <laughs> That's something I need to fix here. And then I'll be able to show you. The. Thumbnail that I just did. La Paz Center. Avianca 8508. With you in flight level 300. Avianca 8508, la Pat Center, Roger. Okay. 
got that Give other thumbnail done. Let's go ahead and show that. And here we go. This is the Phoenix to Oklahoma City uh, thumbnail for that flight right there. And I've got one more. One more to do here. Of course, I'll need to do one for this live stream also. And Delta 573, contact 1975. 1975, Delta 573, good day. Bye. Bye. Okay, now which one looked better? Not that one. That one's not bad. I think I'm going to go with that one. That was not the right one. <laughs> Papa Sander, Gamma Pacos, 1689, with you at flight level 350. Gala, Pacos, Looks like I have to be a little bit creative with where I put the titles on this one. I don't like the design of that. Or maybe I should say the composition. Let's 
See, I took web design uh, in college. I actually have a degree in web design. La base center, avian cat for antito, with you at flight level straight zero. Avian cat twenty two, la base center, rojen. That looks better. American 546, contact 121, decimal 2. 21, decimal 2, American 2546. Okay, that one is now done. Now well, that all I got to do now is just uh, get that attached to the live stream, and I'll show you that one. That should do it. La base center, Europa 7708, with you at flight level 260. Europa 7708, La base center, Rogel. So here we go. This is the other, uh, the other thumbnail that I just worked on. Uh, for the one for Portland, Oregon to Whitehorse, Yukon. So I had to change it up a little bit because I didn't want to cover the plane right, here. Two, five, four, six, uh, also, this is not perfectly America, centered because uh, I wanted this, the edge of the W to line up with the D here because otherwise it just didn't, I don't know, it didn't fit right. <laughs> it didn't look right. So it's just school training uh, you know as far as what looks good in regards to design and this can look a lot better but as far as something quick to put to get put together uh, it works Oops, so there we go I've got those now Yeah, web design, it really has changed. It's changed a lot. The thing for me to do is to act actually create a website for uh, Killer TV. Uh, as well as uh, Killer Gamer. So, And I did actually create one at one time. But yeah, that's what I need to do is I need to, I need to put together a website uh, and then everything can be linked to it, you know, as far as uh, everyone can go there. There's like a separate player that um, you can watch live streams on and, and uh, uh, you would be able to uh, donate if you wanted to. Links to all the social medias would be there as well. Um, and I, I, I know there are things that you can do that can bring in feeds uh, from those social media sites. So if you're not one that really cares about Twitter or Facebook, which I don't really have anything on Facebook, but just to give you an example, um, it would be able to pull that information and pull it onto the website so that way you could, you know, go to the website and you'd be able to see that, uh, that information. Plus I can do things like background uh, information on the channel, how long it's been going on. Um, I could set up a, uh, a forum, uh, a blog, there's tons of stuff that I, that I can, uh, that I can do with it. Um, 
and probably should do something, especially if I, um, especially if I want everything to grow. Wapaw Center, Transperu 143, with unit flight level 360. Transperu 143, Wapaw Center, So here's a little something that I can share with you that I don't uh, really share all that often. Yeah, Photoshop, I, I use Photoshop too. As a matter of fact, that's what I use for the thumbnails um, is Photoshop. And all the stuff that I uh, did in school was with Adobe software. So uh, Photoshop, InDesign, what else? I got it all over here on this computer. Adobe Illustrator. Those, yeah, those are the main ones. And then I, I learned how to use Adobe Premiere um, on my own. And, well, I went to school also for uh, video and film production. So, and that's where I found out that I have a talent uh, for video editing. Now that one I didn't get a degree on. I was close. Uh, but I was getting to the point where I was like, what am I going to do with it? Um, because what I wanted to do was not get involved with all the garbage uh, that was going, you know. It's worse now in regards to Hollywood. So, I mean, I'm glad I didn't really go that way. But, you know, hey, it's just a piece of paper, you know. Um, and a lot of the uh, a lot of the entertainment industry, it's who you know. And I guess today, not only is it who do you know, it's who do you vote for? <laughs> what side are you on? Are you on the right? Are you on the left? Who's, whose butt do you kiss? That, sorry, not for me. <laughs> My first uh, video editor was the uh, video toaster flyer for the Amiga, which I still have, actually. I'd like to get that back up and working again. That would be fun to do some videos with. So here's what I don't uh, share too often. Uh, these are the current top videos on Killer TV uh, within the past 28 days. Still hanging at number uh, one. Is <laughs> my X Plane 11.50 is officially released? It was a Shep Rambles uh, video from last last year, uh, September 10th. That's when it when it came out. Why? <laughs> Why is it still number one? I don't know. Um, it's well, you know, I don't know. It's oh no, that's average view. I forgot how. I I did go through in there. I taught. I went in there and I did and I did an install comparisons. Um, did more stuff. Maybe that's why it's doing well. Um, number two, Flight Simulator 2020 Payware Aircraft so far. That one's out of date, but it's number two. Number three, which I think should be higher, is Rec my uh, killer game review on Rex 6 Weather Force. This one is more relevant, and I'm surprised... If anything, this one should be number two. So I don't know why this one is still here. Number four, Happy New Year 2021 <laughs> with Flight Simulator 2000. That was the uh, New Year's Day special I did with Flight Simulator 2000. Uh, the original idea that I wanted to do was flying from San Francisco all the way to New York. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, but the way that I wanted to do it would have just taken so long and there are other things going on so I just wasn't able to do it 
That was the original idea that I wanted to do, though. Hanging in at number five, this has been in the top five uh, for the longest time, is the first episode of Minecraft Survival Showcase Greenfield, which has been going on uh, maybe a few months longer than the Killer Gamers World Tour series. So that series is the longest running series on the channel uh, and doing fairly well, I think. Number six, the live stream, Cross the World miniseries, part 12, Islamabad to Varanasi, India, which we will be getting back to. We will be getting back to uh, the Cross the World miniseries. As a matter of fact, um, I just recently got the uh, the the pushback uh, express or whatever it's called for from FS2 Labs for Flight Sim 2020. Uh, so we now have that <laughs> that we'll be able to use. Number seven, the United States and Canada to become one country. <laughs> that was like two years ago from 2019. I still get people making comments on there. They're like, we hate the USA, and, all that, and that's never going to happen. And you know what? With recent events, not going to get into deep in the politics, but some of you may already know that the president had signed an executive order that killed a lot of jobs uh, which I don't understand with what's going on right now there are millions of people out of work um, not enough jobs to go around and you're gonna kill a bunch of jobs that just like I said before I hate politics I don't trust them they're all corrupt as far as I'm concerned but, moving on. Number eight, Cross the World, miniseries, uh, part 11, the second half of it, <laughs> uh, which was from Abu Dhabi to Islamabad. So, you got part 11 here, part 12 here. Uh, part 11A was the early morning flight over Dubai. <clears throat> uh, where I left Abu Dhabi, we flew over... Um, Dubai in the early morning to take a look at the night lighting and wasn't overly impressed because a lot of the buildings weren't lit especially the points of interest it, it was kind of disappointing number nine cross the world miniseries part seven uh, Jeddah Saudi Arabia to Tel Aviv Israel and then number ten cross the world <laughs> Part 13, that was after Islamabad. This is from Varanasi to Begin, Myanmar. Uh, that was the one where I believe we flew over... Yeah, we flew over the um, Himalayas and we saw... saw uh, I want to say Mount Olympus, Olympus, <laughs> Mount Everest. That's what that one was. Saba Center, March 17, 1891, with weird flight level 370. And let's see, we can go March down a little bit more. Was it number 11? It's part 16 from Sri Lanka to Port Blair. Number 12, Philippine Flying with X Plane 11. There's another across the world that was, I don't know, number, what are we on, 13 now? And then, uh, 14, we got Flight Simulator 2002. This is Killer Gamers World Tour. This is the uh, tour where uh, all the simulators are flying the same flight plan. So that way you can see, you can compare full flights with each of the simulators and, and see how they all differ get to experience get to experience it all over again 
15, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Across the World miniseries, part 14. Begin, Myanmar to Bubain's War, India. Uh, and this one, number 16, this one I did back in 2016. Um, this was with Minecraft 1.10.2. I had created a Star Trek transporter uh, with redstone and command blocks, complete with sound effects. <laughs> it was a huge contraption. Uh, took me about a week to get that program, but pretty impressive, I thought. Uh, and now with the uh, later versions, uh, it's broke. It doesn't work anymore. I would have to completely redo it. Uh, what is this, number 17? Killer Gamers World Tour. This one featuring Pro Pilot 99. First episode. Again, cross the world from Tel Aviv to Baghdad. That was the last one we did, as a matter of fact. Uh, so that's where we'll be picking up uh, from on the next uh, the next live stream of Fights in 2020. Will be from Baghdad. And. Right there, I think that's number 20. Most recent wi uh, <laughs> white stream. <laughs> that's racist. Uh, <laughs> from It was the most recent live stream from a couple days ago. Or it might have been three days ago. What, January 22? Well, there you go. I don't know however long that was. Uh, Portland, Oregon to Whitehorse, uh, Yukon Territory. So, yeah. And I just made that thumbnail for that. I think we got ourselves some terrain over here. The weather. I think that's terrain. You've reduced speed 200 knots. 200 knots, up to 573. Low power sector, American 980. The approach in the Bilbao. I'll take it. <laughs> I've got an avograph. Let me take a look. Let me see if I don't tell don't tell me what it is. Let me see if I can look it up. Besides, we may not want that in the chat. B I L Bayo. Oh, okay, there it is. Let's bring up approach charts. I don't know if it's uh, the star or ILS. Let's see if I can find it. Ten dash two A chart. Oh, okay, that was like the next one. La Paz Center, American thirteen sixty eight. Flight level 390-0. I'm not seeing it, so it must be a word that's racist in another language. What letter does it start with? The waypoint just to the right of Al Biz. I saw that one. And Delta five seven three contact nineteen seventy five. 
I see it. I've not heard of that word before. I'm afraid to look it up. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> La Paz Center, American 224, with you at flight level 340. American 224, La Paz Center, Rogen. It must have multiple meanings. The reverse gear of a car. Army every man's equipment for food, cooking, and eating. Okay. So I see what you're saying. I don't see how that's racist, but I do see how it's insulting. Now I see the racist connection. Gotcha. All right, so I, I see where you're coming from on that one. With you at flight level 370. Apparently, it's also a punk rock outfit from California. That. Uh oh. No! It just froze. P3D just crashed. I have not had that problem until now. At least I know whereabouts we are. We were near Vera Vera, Santa Cruz. And I lost my progress on Pack X as well. That really sucks. Oh, it does say you'll be asked if you want to try reconnecting again before canceling the flight. Okay, well, that works.
I don't believe that happened. Because yesterday I did a... Uh, I did the full flight. Didn't crash at all. American 2546, uh, maintain 200 knots under Mavic. After Mavic, comply with the approach. Contact 19. All right, we'll just shut that off right there. And now prepared is taken forever to load up. There we go. We are close to Santa Cruz. El Trompilo. We'll do that. I guess maybe I should have saved the uh, flight somewhere as a backup. I didn't think I'd have to do that. Okay, so we're going to take off from Sierra Lima Echo Tango. I'm just going to get us on the active runway. Shoot. What time was it? <laughs> What time was it? Uh, started around dawn. And we've been flying for 5 hours and 37 minutes. So, okay, I think it was close to... Maybe 1,300 hours, somewhere around there. Now the good thing is, is I can pick up uh, at any point with Vox ATC, so I don't have to start that part over. So 
So I'm going to get us to take off, get us up to speed, and then I can like slew us up close to 37,000 feet, which is where we were. We're currently at 25%. There it is. <laughs> I think looking up that word gave me bad luck. That's how cursed that word is. Bring back our plane here. This looks like an awfully short runway. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get VNAV to work since I won't be at the beginning. How much fuel do I have in here? Oh, 100%. Well, I know that's not right. We'll make it 60%. Payload. I remember it was 123. That's not too hard to forget. Uh, let's see, I had this at 7. 123, so 116 was here. I don't remember the cargo. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, yeah, the engines are, are on. So that's good. Position looks like we're good.
Yes, I know they disagree. <laughs> G Let's see, cruise win, 212 at 11, so that's kind of changed a little bit. I guess I can't put that in. All right, fine. Runway 34. Oh, you know what? We took off from runway 11 originally. Okay, now the question is, can I skip? Oh, look at this, we don't have our stuff there anymore. Ah, I had the VNAV working in everything. That is so annoying. Here, maybe I can get it in here. Insufficient fuel. Not from where we're going. <laughs> we're not starting all the way back there. There we go. We got it in there now. Okay, so we were close to the Veer, Viru Viru, uh, Santa Cruz. Okay, I don't think there's a way that I can. What's this here? BRT? I'm not sure. 
I may have to go through and delete those other ones. So okay, for now, I can just uh, do everything manually. that stuff. I'll take collision on. Steady. This was at 37. And this is one five five five. Let's see, anti ice, and now that was on. Uh, everything else. I think looks good. Get her back in the air. Oh, you know what? There's the pathway right there. Let's get it up to 250. Okay. That's going to click on there. All right, fine. All right, here we go, folks. We're going to get back up in the air. It's close to where we were before. <laughs> Whoops, that is the wrong heading. Yeah, turn that around the other way.
Okay, let's get this back up in the air here. Uh, meanwhile, I guess I can just start deleting these. Valid deletes. Okay, I think I know what to do. There's Veer. Risu, this is the next one right here. Ba boom! Okay, I think we're back in business. Get that turned back on. Alright, let's get back up into the air here. Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, I can't see. Okay, that works. Get us around. Thirty thousand. And once I get us right back up to thirty seven thousand again. I will do a save just in case. Gonna bring us up to thirty five thousand. Okay. There we are. back up to that again. Yeah, 
not going to be able to get my V-Nav to work anymore. change okay I see what happened when I click on VNAV it's turning on the level change come on Stop playing around. Get up to my altitude. Eric, no. I'm trying to get back up to where we were. P3D crashed. So I'm trying to get it back up to where we were before. So yeah, no, I'm not testing limitations. I'm just trying to get it back to to where it was. Position-wise, we're back where we were. I'm just trying to get it back up to the um, altitude that it was at, which was uh, 37,000. Yeah, it just flat out crashed. No rhyme or reason. Okay, we're almost up there. And go ahead and get all of our ATC back again.
Test. 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 Got my VNAV working again. Test. One thousand level. Alright, and I should be able to rest or not restart packs, but get it back to where it was. Okay, good. Whew. Wait for Vox ATC to finish its thing and then we'll do a save. Oh, yeah, the co-pilot normally does that. It was, it was like that, but thank you. Had this set to three so I didn't forget. Set one, two, three point niner on com one. Set. La Paz Center, Argentina, nineteen ninety, with you at flight level three seven zero. Argentina, nineteen ninety. All right. We're back in business. Let's go ahead and save this scenario. Watch it crash. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so for anyone joining us. This is where we left off. It was right here in uh, Bolivia. So yeah, we f flew all this way to this point and P3D crashed. But I kept an eye. Thank goodness that I've got Navigraph. My goodness. This at least... I was at least able to see where we were. And I was able to pick uh, a spot to take off from and get us back up to where we were. So... We're back on track, folks.
<laughs> green? Green uh, Indy, Nevada? I know exactly what you mean. That sounds like one of my flights. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. La Paz Center, Argentina 1670, <clears throat> with you at flight level 380. Watch my landings, you might feel better about yours. <laughs> Yeah, you know those other those other channels, the the you know the other streamers, the other YouTubers. You know how when they fly, they're it's all smooth, In a perfect, few moments, our beautiful. Our lovely flight attendants will be starting our in-flight service. We'll be serving yeah, complimentary Yeah, if that happens here, it's like a celebration. Premium rates are available for a small charge. Please note, we only accept credit cards. United one six four one two four decimal one. Two four decimal one. Well, I have FSUIPC, but don't don't you have to have the registered version? But you know what? It might be worth it. Oh, Envy, gotcha, Green Envy, one Green Green Envy. Yeah, you know what, Eric? I think I'm going to consider that. Now, do I have to register um, six and seven separately? So, like, I've got six for this. Well, and then, like, I would have to get five for FSX, and then I've got seven for Flight Sim 2020. Do you have to register all three of them, or is one registration going to be fine for all three? You know? Because I'd say the ones that I've... I've had more crashes on Flight Sim 2020 than I've had on P3D. For the most part, this has actually been running pretty decently. I've not heard that one yet. What is it about your monitor it doesn't like? Is it just an old monitor? Is it the the refresh rate or That's just weird. I, that that's the first time I've heard someone say say that. Bizarre. What kind of graphics card do you have? To two? Holy crap. A I have a 2700 Super. 2080. Yeah, I got a 2070 Super is what I've got. Yeah, and I'm sure your processor is much better than mine. I have a fourth generation i7. Oh yeah, your your system would would 
just smear mine all over the floor. <laughs> That's weird. Is it a monitor monitor or is it like a television? You know, like a television monitor. I don't think it really matters, but I don't know. Maybe that's something. I rebuilt my i7. <laughs> it was down for two years. And I, I was working on a i5 backup for all that time. Um, and then when they announced Flight Sim 2020, I'm like, all right, no, no more, uh, no more procrastination. I got to get that thing fixed. And so I did. <laughs> yeah, 27 inch Omen. Yeah, 24. I've not heard of that one. That is so weird. That is weird. And is it just Flight Sim 2020 that gives you that problem? Or do you have that problem with... Or do you have P3D? Do you have X-Plane? Does it uh, give you any problems with those? Twenty-seven inch. Man, I bet that's a good size. I don't know what size I've got here. It's like <laughs> maybe I should get close. It's about that big. But I have a second monitor right there. So. I know. Give me another five years. I probably will need a monitor the size of the uh, walls in order for me to be able to see. Hmm. Wow. Well, I hope you're able to get that working. But, I can tell you, you are on the right channel because uh, we have something here called Killer Points. So the more you watch, the more points you can earn, and you can redeem those points for cool things, including activities such as flights uh, from one uh, place to another place. Um, you can redeem them for an hour flight, two hour flight, three hour flight, and you re you can request the type of simulator that you'd like to see it on. So if you're not able to fly Flight Simulator 2020, there you go. Um, earn enough points, you can redeem it, and you can say, hey, I'd like to see a flight from here to here uh, with this aircraft um, on Flight Sim 2020. Or you might want to see it on Flight Simulator 98 or Flight Simulator 2000 or X-Plane 6. <laughs> I do all those. I do all those on this channel. So I do everything going back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 1 and going back to X-Plane 5. So yeah, I've got those, cha uh, those killer points so that way all of you um, kind of an incentive to to watch and earn points and then you get to redeem them and have a little bit of a uh, influence on the types of things that you see on the channel do I have the Zebo 737 yes I do I do have that And I and we do have a viewer that has uh, redeemed points for I think like three flights now on the Zebo 737. That's a great. That's a great aircraft. That Zebo is just amazing. And yes, I do have X Plane 11. <laughs> <laughs> and Delta 573, contact 1975. 1975. Yeah, I do, uh, I do a variety. I do, um, from what I'm told, I am the only one that does classic flight simulators. I don't think there's anyone else out there that does them, not like how I do them. I don't do just the default. I've got add-ons. I've got 
custom content, payware. Um, I load those uh, classic simulators up just as if it were the modern simulator today. So I got like a load of stuff for Flight Simulator 98 and Flight Simulator 4 and all kinds of stuff. So great way to relive some memories or uh, make some new ones. See, in my case, I flew Flight Simulator 98 when it first came out, but I did not have the amount of add-ons that I have now. <laughs> I got that thing loaded up like nuts. So Green Envy, let me show you one of my videos. <laughs> it may inspire you <laughs> as far as your landings. I've improved since this one landing, but let me show you. I think, <laughs> I think you might get a little kick out of it. Let's not pull up Google Chrome because that may or may not have caused a problem. I don't know. Oh, there they are. They're shooting missiles at me again. There is a jet that just flew right by. This was on VATSIM uh, last year. I did the uh, Cross Vatris 2020 event. Well, it had like, what was it, across 10 days or 32 legs and something crazy like that. I did every single one of them. I was wiped out by the end of it. I was so wiped out. But that's when I, I bought my first PMDG. I bought the 747. I bought it for the uh, Vatris event. And the first airport we started off was a tiny one. <laughs> You're right with this huge 747. I'm like, maybe I should have gotten the 737. Uh, so I wound up getting that one too. But I also got the Airbus uh, from Aerosoft. Which is what I'm going to show you. <laughs> yeah, the La Paz Center, American I had some issues with you at flight level three six zero. American Dinesiro, La Paz Center, Rogen. Looking for the playlist. Oh, so hey, if you want uh, a playlist to save and watch later, <laughs> there you go. That's the playlist for the Cross Vatris 2020 event. Um, I flew the 747. I flew that one for what? About four flights. Then I flew the 
Majestic uh, Dash 8. I got the Quality Wing 757. Where is that stinking Airbus? There it is! I found it! In flight entertainment, folks. <laughs> and some of you have already seen this. But it's worth watching again. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> 300. I'm landing manually. <laughs> 200. Yeah, so <laughs> that might give you some inspiration for your own flight. Uh, and the greatest part of that was the controller on that sim. He was like, uh, tune into ground, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Great landing, by the way, is what he said. <laughs> uh, uh. Long pass center, American 207, with you at flight level 400. American 207, the pack center, Roger. Oh, maybe I can fly, find another... I did a 747 flight on Flight Sim 2020, and that was a disaster. Let's see if I can find that one for you. See where are you? Live streams. La Paz Center, American 2386, with you at flight level 410. Yeah, that must have been it. I was flying from Mexico City to Cancun with the UPS 747 and I was trying the salty mod with that. Oh wait, did I actually land that? Okay, no, I did land that one. I just went right past the runway, or did I? I <laughs> I don't remember. All right, let me try another one. Not that one, then. Lot Pass Center, Argentina 1141, with you at flight level 380. Argentina 1141, Lapan Center, Rogen. Wait a minute, seven eight seven Dreamliner? Maybe that's it. I don't remember landing a seven eight seven Dreamliner really well. <laughs> that's got to be the one.
Okay, yep, that's it. <laughs> it found it. <laughs> ah, he just landed in Malta. Awesome. Oh, you gotta love it when the kids jump into the cockpit. Kind of like my cats whenever they are let in here and and stuff. Okay, so here is a flight. Um, sure, you'll do better <laughs> than I did on this one. Needless to say, I didn't fly the 787 after this. Well, first of all, they didn't give us the greatest of uh, ATC instructions. The ATC instructions, they certainly didn't le get us to a point where I was like, what? I was like at 20,000 feet, like five miles from the airport. We were uh, lined up for runway six. That's so they did a pretty horrible job there. There's there's the airport. All right, here we come. <laughs> Where's the spoiler? I might be a bad influence. I don't know, but <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Wee! Where's the airport? I can't get this down any further. Dang it, we're going to have to go around again. Dang it. Okay. The controls stopped working at well, this point. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> Well, <laughs> all right, everyone, we're here. <laughs> Probably one of my best landings. I don't know. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I got some keepers when it comes to landings. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely home delivery service. And that might be the last time that I deliver. <laughs> That's front door service. Yes, it was. So, yeah, we have some interesting things that happen on this channel. <laughs> But whenever it happens to be a nice smooth landing, it's a cause for celebration. <laughs> and that's with the airliners. General aviation, I'm pretty decent with. Um, and that's just because I flew them for so long, going all, all the way back to the Commodore 64, that um, I had preferred general aviation because I couldn't fly the the tube liners worth a dang um, but I started getting back to those last year 
because I uh, wanted to get back into that sim. And I and last year is when I started streaming on Twitch. And I knew there's a lot of people that like to watch uh, these types of flights. So I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna need to push myself to learn. So, <clears throat> so that's what I did. Jiffy Doss. I don't think I've heard Jiffy Doss. I've heard of Jiffy Peanut Butter. <laughs> Jiffy Peanut Butter. Mmm. That stuff is good. Hey, uh, we're crossing into another country. What country? Good question. I'm going to find out. What country are we crossing into? Um, Argentina! That is what we're crossing into now. Show you that on Navigraph. If you have if you don't have Navigraph, get Navigraph. Uh, you won't regret it. Get a yearly subscription. Won't have to worry about it, but you will probably use this a lot. I know I do. I got it. Uh, I first got it because of VATSIM. And if you're going to fly on VATSIM, this would be like the greatest investment that you could possibly do. Because you'll be able to pull up charts and everything that you need all in one spot. Uh, but yeah, so we're crossing uh, into Argentina now. Simbrief. Yeah, we have some viewers here that use Simbrief um, also. I've used it yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, one of our viewers, and it was actually uh, when I was doing that uh, Vatris event, was kind of walking me through on Simbrief uh, to show me how it works. See, I'm the kind of person that likes to get in, in, into an aircraft and go. <laughs> but I've been trying to, you know, learn how to do things like starting things up cold from cold and dark and getting the FMC programmed correctly and I'm definitely a lot further along than what I was. 125.1 Argentina 1990. Set 125.1 on COM1. Set. Cordoba Center, Argentina, 1990, with you at flight level 370. So I've got FS ATC chatter in the background. I'm going to change the settings on that. So that, because there's not very many chatter files for South America. Um, what's 10 minutes? 60 times 10, 600? There. That way we won't hear as much of that ATC chatter. There's only like 12 files for center. It's not really... See? See? Missiles! Where'd he go? Well, 
there's one over there. Yeah, he's gone. Well, let's give you some external views anyway, so that way you can all see what's going on here. My eyes are a little blurry, but Moose <laughs> Mustafa. I think that's right. M O O S E S Stafa. Yes, Mustafa. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Welcome. Glad to have you here. We had a little bit of an interesting time because P3D decided to crash. For no reason, you know, just crashed. So I had to start it back up, get the plane back to where it was. And yes... It has been suggested to get a registered version of FSUIPC so that way it does automatic saves, which I do remember reading about, but it was just like one of those things that just didn't click. <laughs> it's like, I knew it, but I didn't know it. <laughs> but now that I've been uh, slapped in the face enough times with crashes, I'm like, Okay, yeah, I probably should get that. <laughs> rainy night. I love a rainy night. I love a rainy night. got to pull up the lyrics on that. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I love a rainy night. I love to hear the thunder. Watch the lightning when it lights up the sky. <laughs> You know, it makes me feel good. Yes, I am dating myself, <laughs> as far as the song is concerned. Yeah, I've heard about that, uh, Green. I've heard about that. Not the happy birthday thing, but I have heard about um, uh, copyright strikes and stuff. It's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. No. Don't do it. Avoid it by not doing it. <laughs> oh, not record the streams. Well, the streams, uh, I do uh, have them recorded for a couple of reasons. Especially with these long ones, I can download them, save them as a backup. Uh, but also, they'll be up on the channel for 10 days, giving people a chance to go back and watch it. 
Uh, but I'm also multi-streaming on YouTube, so it'll be there uh, longer. I do try to record separately, um, but I've had problems recording on the same machine as Flight Simulator 2020 because it would lock up the whole machine. Um, sometimes towards the end of the flight. And it happened on P3D also. Yay! <laughs> Glad you're a part of the community. Don't forget to head over to Killer TV over on YouTube. There's a lot of stuff over there. I got, I don't know, something like 1,600 videos over there. Lots of flight simulator stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff there too. Uh, other stuff there too. Copa 611, Cotoba Center, Roger. But yeah, I do this full time um, as far as making videos and streams. Uh, some videos take longer uh, to do than others. Depends on what it is that I'm working on, but I get videos out uh, throughout the week. Uh, there's a lot of things that I stream that I use the footage uh, for certain kinds of episodes. Uh, so like these past few streams, um, the footage is going to be used for a, a series that I have called Killer Light Flights, which has got a variety of um, long flights that have been uh, edit it down into like a small 25 30 minute package with the main highlights like the uh both airports stuff in the middle but you know just a just a fun little small little package that you know you don't have to sit down and watch like four or five hours of it um you know some people like the long flights and some like to have you know a little bit more of a uh shortened edited version of it so i have a i have a variety of of that plus i got ones where i have commentary and ones that are cinematic uh, that i don't have any talking on at all <laughs> hey well green <laughs> go for it <laughs> I am here for your entertainment. <laughs> and I'm sure I will give you plenty of uh, opportunities to make fun of me. <laughs> it's okay. It's all in good fun. Uh oh look, another missile. <laughs> Two of them. Oh, no, sorry, that was the one that just passed us. I got to go over to the Vox ATC forum and kind of say, hey man, what's up? These planes are like 
aiming for me. That's AI traffic. Uh, that's traffic that's created by uh, Vox ATC. Vox, Vox ATC is the only program that generates its own air traffic. So you have to turn it off on the simulator and Vox ATC generates its own traffic because it controls that traffic. It's the only one that does that. Uh, and people have been asking uh, the developers of Pilot to ATC uh, to have traffic generated. You don't notice the difference at first, but when you when you fly for a while with the regular AI traffic, when you turn it off and start looking at what Vox ATC does, it feels more immersive because when you're down at the airport, um, it will it will sometimes tell uh, one pilot to uh, hold short while you're going through or it may have you hold short while someone else is going through there's just it's got a if it, it's got a lot more of a realistic feel to it plus all the text to speech voices I've got like 31 of them um, all those voices are being used for the those AI that are out there which pilot to ATC does not do that Which I do have, but that see that's a that's another thing on this on on this channel is with the different simulators that I've got, I set them all up differently from each other. So, for example, um, I still have P three D four point five. I have that over on Windows seven. Uh, that's the that's the beauty of having an, an uh, a seven year old motherboard is I can still do a dual boot system. <laughs> But, uh, so like with 4.5, I previously had Orbix and everything on, installed on it. Well, Center, now I'm going to set it up differently uh, with different uh, add-ons. I was thinking Ultimate Terrain and uh, the Ground Environment uh, Prepared World uh, thing. Uh, I've already got, I've got Act of Sky on it, but I also have Rex, uh, Sky Force 3D and Rex uh, Environment Force. So I can have it all set up uh, differently for a different type of experience compared to 5. Likewise, I can have a different, ex I can have a different setup between the FSX Boxed Edition and FSX Steam. So, I like to set up the simulators different, so that way they're, you know, a little unique uh, with each other, and not just, you know, the same boring scenery, <laughs> you know, the, uh, the same scenery on each one of them. So, yeah. So, for example, I do X-Plane 10, and I do X-Plane 11. I have both. X-Plane 11, I'll use the... Um, ortho photos for but x-plane 10 i won't i could but i don't i i just use the default scenery for that but i'll find custom content if i can um or i'll uh import it from the gateway i'll import like a x-plane 11 version into wed uh world editor and then remove all the X-Plane 11 stuff and convert it to an X-Plane 10 airport. So, um, also, I'll use, like on X-Plane 10, I can use World Traffic 3.0, whereas on X-Plane 11, I've got 
Traffic Global. I originally had World Traffic First, but now I can just use that on X-Plane 10, and I can use um, Traffic Global on X-Plane 11. And then, and then I've got X Enviro. I can use an old version of X Enviro over on 10, and then I can do a toss-up between X Enviro on X Plane 11, or I can use the Active Sky uh, XP on on it. So, so yeah, I like to set them all up differently. PFPX. Not heard of that one. <laughs> Role playing, watching someone and on approach, you jumped out of the airplane, flying it to the left engine. <laughs> Oh, that's great. And well, you know, on here, you can have plenty of opportunity for uh, for role playing. That is for sure. Cordova Center, Argentina, fourteen sixty five. With you at flight level three nine zero. Hi, can I get some sweet lovin' and one juice, please? Check. <laughs> Not you! No, I don't want it from you. I would like it from the sweetheart flight attendant. And also to bring me one juice, please. Okay, I'll bring the drinks up in a minute. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> hey guys, here are the drinks. You are the best. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh -uh. Well, we got some more turning here. It is hot in here. Corridor Center, Argentina 1477, with you flight level 370. I gotta get our next flights ready for uh, Flight Sim 2020. I took a week break uh, from Flight Sim 2020 so that way I could get uh, P3D back up. Um, I had just a week ago I just got P3D version 5. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it or not, um, but I had problems with 4.5 working on Windows 10. It would just 
sometimes it would work and other times it just had problems but it works perfectly on Windows 7 but I can't use Pilot to ATC with it because you can only have one install with it and I'm gonna have it here on Windows 10 so that I can use it with X-Plane and uh, Flight Sim 2020 Plus, I've got all of my Windows 10 voices, plus other voices that I bought, here on Windows 10, which I won't have on Windows 7, uh, other than the ones that I bought. And I wanted to have something for, and I wanted to use my Vox ATC for prepared, so I just decided to go ahead and get version 5. So, and also too, Flight Sim 2020 had kind of pissed me off at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I got so I got version 5 and I took some time to get it installed. I was missing my my PMDG aircrafts. I wanted to now that I was more familiar with the uh, the Air, the Airbus, um, I wanted to give it another go with my Aerosoft co collection, which now that now that I've dug into it a little bit more, it's actually a pretty nice collection. Um, is it study level? No, um, but it's okay. I think for what it is, I think it works really well. Um, I'm happy with it. I I think it's much better than you know getting you know spending seventy eighty dollars on you know uh, an Airbus that comes with malware. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm referring to, uh, but. Yeah, now that I've got P3D5 here, I can use my Pilot to ATC with it. I've got all my Windows 10 voices and everything that I can use here with it. Um, and then I can I can set up uh, version 4.5 differently. I can use some different types of uh, scenery replacements and stuff. So yeah, I wanted to get back into that and get some flights uh, flights out uh, before going back to Flight Sim 2020. Because on Flight Sim 2020, on the Cross the World event, um, I'm flying the uh, the Mooney M20R uh, Carinado. Don't mind me, I'm uh, putting in uh, thumbnails uh, for these past streams here. One more. There we go. That's better. That's much better.
still got a few uh, streams that didn't have uh, thumbnails on them, but that's okay. Six hundred miles to top of the sense. <laughs> Windows ten and Windows three point one. I do have Windows three point one. I have it on PC emulator. So technically I do have it on this computer. Along with Windows ninety five, Windows ninety eight. DOS 6.22 <laughs> as well as the Commodore 64 the Commodore Amiga <clears throat> I didn't really get into 3.1 uh, the Commodore 64 was our first family computer, but the first computer that I bought with my own money was the Commodore Amiga, uh, the Amiga 500. And I had gotten flight simulator on that day one, of course, when I, when I first bought it. Um, but, the, and man, it was, it was ahead of its time uh, when it came out. Uh, but then it started to fall behind. And the, PC was getting better and better and better um, and then Flight Simulator 5 came out I saw you know I was amazed by the graphics and I really wanted to play it and that was when I bought my first PC and that was the only time that I bought a PC it was a Packard Bell Pinium 90 the last PC I would ever buy because after that, I built my own. <laughs> and I've been building my own computers uh, ever since then. How are we doing here? Got two more pages. Sixty-two, Still got quite a few miles here. There's about a hundred there, hundred there, three hundred. I'm about. 360 from top of descent. So, uh, it sounds like you and I are probably, unless this thing crashes again, um, are going to be landing around the same time. Should be landing around 1941 Zulu. Which is, oh, an hour and 20 minutes. Good. My wife will be happy about that. <laughs> she, uh, she doesn't like it when I stay up to that. Hmm. Yeah, see, for me, I stuck with the Amiga uh, pretty much as long as I could. I went from the Amiga 500 to the Amiga 2000 because I had gotten the video toaster uh, for that. Uh, and then I wound up getting 
the Amiga 4000s and I traded in my old toaster board for a uh, video toaster 4000 because it had the color wipes whereas uh, the 2000s uh, the original video toaster only had like two color I think, I think it was just basically black black and white uh, uh, transition wipes and stuff uh, the Amiga 4000 had with the AGA graphics had the color wipes with it and then I got the uh, the flyer board which was the non-linear editing board and uh, SCSI drives hooked up to it so that way uh, I could rec uh, do editing it was non-linear editing Yes, I had that too. Matter of fact, I think it's still in my Amiga 500. Hold on. It's like, <laughs> my Amiga 500 doesn't work anymore, but... Workbench 1.3, yep. Yep, I think I had that also. I. I think I had 1.2 and then I upgraded the chips or the, the, the ROM or something to get 1.3. I'll be right back here. Well, give me a good opportunity to give you guys some uh, external shots here. If I hit the right buttons. <laughs> Job Center, land part 2107, with you at flight level 290. <laughs> Okay, I am back. Here it is. The Amiga 500. This was my first computer that I bought. Still have it. It don't work. Because I was trying to do an update on it. And I shorted out something. I think I was trying to upgrade the chipset. And when that didn't work... I tried putting the original chips back and they didn't work and yeah I was a little a little bummed out by that I still have all of my Amigas I never got rid of them yep I think this is what you mean right that little middle piece in there is that the one that you're talking about I think that's got the uh, 
microbiotic microbiotics. Yeah, I think that's got uh, memory. in it and I had something hooked up to the side here but I don't know what what it was it might have been another uh, memory thing but I don't remember But you know, the Amiga computer is what got me to building my own computers um, after the first PC that I bought because um, I think probably maybe most Amiga owners were upgrading their own machines because, you know, they were buying ex um graphics cards and stuff like that in order to up upgrade their Amigas. So that's kind of what gave me a little bit of confidence on on me uh, building my own PC when I discovered uh, an electronics store had uh, motherboards and everything. I just looked into it and I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll give it a try. And I still have that motherboard. <laughs> I still have that original motherboard uh, from my first PC, which is sitting over here, and I've been wanting to get to it and get that computer rebuilt. Four fifty a.m. Nah, you don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> Who needs sleep? Get a rock star. It'll keep you going. This stuff is going to give me a heart attack. <clears throat> I was getting four hours, four or five hours of sleep, um, and then my wife gave me her, uh, she has this mask that she puts over her eyes that's got uh, speakers, uh, Bluetooth, where it connect, you can connect it to the phone and play uh, music and stuff. Um, Mine can't be charged anymore, but she she had given me hers, and ever since I've been wearing that, uh, <clears throat> and I also have um, sleep apnea, so I have to sleep with a uh, uh, a CPAP machine. Uh, I wind up sleeping a lot longer <laughs> than four or five hours. <clears throat> Which is why some of my streams don't happen as early as I'd like them to happen. Because I wind up sleeping much longer than what I planned. Eighteen! Oh my word. Cordova Center, American 183, with you at flight level 400. There's only 24 hours in a day. American Center, Roger.
we're getting there. Here we are. Coming on down. Looks like we have another country to come through here before we get to Chile. No, there's not another country. Okay, it's just Argentina. It's just divided is all it is. Okay, so yeah, we're in Argentina. There is not another country. Just Chile. Oh, really? Wow. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I'm I'm glad you're okay with that. That you uh, you're able to recover. Most people have said that it's just the flu, or or in some cases maybe a little bit more nastier than the flu. But would you agree? I haven't had it. I don't really go out very much. Oh man, sorry sorry to hear that. Yeah, I've read all kinds of different uh, reports. Uh, there are some that <coughs> um, has affected people in a very um, hard way and others not. I think it I think uh, if you have existing health conditions, I think that probably has something to do with it too. But there's so many variables at play, you know, that there's <clears throat> that there's going to be all kinds of different uh, reactions uh, to it. Alrighty, RJP, we will see you later. I remember several months ago I was not feeling very well, but it just kind of came and went. Uh, it was like maybe a day and a half, which that could have been anything, but...
I see water. Water, 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 water. My fingers are all <laughs> greasy now because I pulled out that Amiga. Well, that's mist over there. That's not water. Hey, let's make another save <laughs> until I get uh, a registered version of that FSUI PC. Well, you all convinced me to get it now. I think the plane should do that automatically. Because I'm pretty sure that I had the center tank filled on this one because I had to I had to pretty much fill it up all the way. I had to kind of cheat a little bit because um, with the passengers it wound up being a lot heavier. Uh, than what it was rated to take off and I had done a uh, practice flight I had already done this flight like yesterday just as a practice um, I like to think of it as a dress rehearsal before coming on stage <laughs> and I was able to fill it up I didn't have any overweight issues or anything like that uh, but then today I did so um, I had to fudge it a little bit so once I got up in the air, I'm like, okay, add this much fuel back to it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I have mine turned off. It looks like I used most of it right there. Where the heck are the fuel tanks at? I've never looked. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I think they're down here by the throttle, aren't they? Well, that's the cutoff. Nope. 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 Oh, hey, I was looking for that. <laughs> I was looking for this. American One Industry. Contact at Tufa Gas to set up. What does that say? Press the test and reset. Oh, this is a good time to do that. Lower left. Overhead panel. All right. Lower left, left side, overhead panel. You don't mean the fuel pumps, do you? I guess that would make sense. Yeah, okay, the pumps.
You know, uh, the fuel pumps and fuel tanks never really connected to me. <laughs> Why is this back to 50? That's not what I set it for. I set it for 1550. That's the altitude there. Which I don't think this does anything here, but... Yeah, you know what? I never connected fuel pumps with fuel tanks. Makes sense. Yeah. Once again, I've flown general aviation for, you know, so long that I'm used, I'm used to right tank, left tank, both. <laughs> fuel pump to help get the engine started. That's what a fuel pump is to me. <laughs> but no, that makes sense. That, that totally makes sense. And then, of course, the cross feed right here. So good to know. That way, if I'm ever starting this thing up from cold and dark, I remember to get all the fuel pumps done. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have a problem. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Do it for the RP. But see, when I role play, I actually have a, a few superpowers, and all I have to do is think about it. And there's like this, these red letters that just come into my head, and they say, uh, there's 39% fuel left. So, yeah, see, amazing how that superpower works, actually. I also have the ability to stop time. <laughs> Red rum? That sounds like Scooby Doo. Red rum? Scooby Stack. Red rum? <laughs> You know, the South America LC, uh, class or whatever it is for Orbix, it's okay, but I wish, I wish there was a little bit more. It needs more. Oh my, <laughs> no problem. to touchdown 1918 Zulu hmm not 
sure why this is different than this. I'm going to say 1941. Isn't that World War II? Yeah, <laughs> I think that was World War II. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, Captain Killer Gamer. We've got about another hour left on our flight, so hope you enjoyed everything so far. Get yourselves comfortable, because we'll be landing very, very soon. Holy smokes! Nine Ark servers, Conan Exile server, wow. I bet you could probably do P3D and X-Plane 11 at the same time, like in two separate windows. I don't know if you could do Flight Sim 2020 and something else. I think Flight Sim 2020 is going to want to take all the resources that you have. Yeah, that would make sense. So let's do uh, a little bit more in-flight entertainment here. Just a little teaser of stuff that I've got on Killer TV. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, you got something that you can uh, look for. <laughs> this is for some classic flight simulator uh, enthusiasts. This is a series that I hope to get back to called Flight Simulator 4 Adventures. It is a... Uh, cinematic series of traveling around 
the United States using the Sublogic East and West uh, scenery discs. Plus, uh, I do a lot of insane customization with it. So I add buildings to the airports, air traffic, and ATC. And I did the music. <laughs> That's using Magic's Maker 3.0. See all the planes moving? <laughs> In little cars. Jet flying over another jet, you know. Ah, they're interrupting me. <laughs> one, two, two, point one, Argentina, nineteen ninety. Flight Simulator for Adventures Part Three. Sacramento Metropolitan Airport, KSMF. To San Francisco International Airport, Expo. I am Expo. your flight computer. <laughs> Startup is approved. Tune in Sacramento clearance delivery on 121.10. Tune Sacramento Addis on 126.75. It gets better. <laughs> Set 122.1 on COM1. Set. Mendoza Center, Argentina, 1990, with you at flight level 370. Argentina, 1990, Mendoza Center, Roger. We're like getting all these warnings for fuel. Alright, here we go. Sacramento Metropolitan Information Tango 20 hundred hours Zulu weather visibility 10 temperature 75 wind 0 at 6 altimeter 29.95 landing and departing runway 16 instrument approach available runway 16 left and runway 16 right advise controller on initial contact you have Tango This is the actual map from the uh, Sublogic uh, USA East. This, in this case, it's West. Which there's not really a way for me to scan it, so I had to lay it on the floor and take a picture <laughs> because it's so big. Tango, Victor, ready to copy. IFR clear. 
Yeah, so it took a little bit to actually get this uh, custom adventure to work. <laughs> So I had to completely make, uh, string together the actual phrases and everything using edit voice pack and then in the adventure have to play those wave files at certain points of the adventure. Cessna 2019 Hilo Tango Victor at ground, Roger, back to runway 16. Left and hold short. Time back power on one two five point seven zero. And then I use a combination of voices from Pro Flight Emulator. <laughs> so that way there was a variety of stuff, and it didn't all sound like it was FSX. ATC chatter. <laughs> and that was all in the game. It wasn't like overlaid, uh, you know, later in video production. It was all in, in the actual game itself. Uh, so I had gotten uh, ATC chatter files from uh, Sacramento and San Francisco, enhancing Flight Simulator 4 in a way that... In a few moments, we'll be starting our in-flight service. We will be serving complimentary drinks and snacks. That's not FS4. Please look at your feedback for our list of complimentary and premium drinks. Premium drinks are available for a small part. That's Please actually P3D. The credit card. <laughs> but yeah, um, enhancing it in such a way that uh, was never even really dreamed of, I guess you could say, back back then, because we just didn't have the resources the to put Speed stuff like that together. So you can see I've got Cessna 2019 Kilo Tanker Victor, Capital Tower. You are cleared for takeoff from runway 16 left. Fly runway heading. And I also use some text to speech. Roger, uh, fly runway heading. And, and put together phrases and wave files. So I used a variety of different stuff. And then that's uh, a few spots uh, in the flights. I would have like a little music segment uh, with music that I put together with some external shots of the plane. So, yeah, just a little teaser of uh, things that you can check out on Killer TV.
And so I like doing that with the old simulators. I like pushing them um, as far as I can push them. You know, it's kind of like taking an old game and modding it, which is essentially what I'm doing, and modding it to just you know, do do things that was beyond its original programming. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot of fun. And a lot of work, too. Doing that for Flight Simulator 4 is a lot of work. Um, just for one particular flight. But it's worth it. Um, I like to think of it as uh, pre-production work. Uh, on a video you know you do a lot of pre-production work uh, and then you actually do the production Speed which is the filming of it Mendoza and Saints then you do the post-production which is the editing and cleanup and, and stuff like that so If I didn't know any better, I would think that we were playing Flight Simulator 2020 with uh, lightning and flashes and stuff and not really all that <laughs> cloud cover that doesn't look like it storms or anything. At least there's not lightning shooting up in the sky. We're not doing too bad for our expected arrival. One hour and seven minutes. We should hopefully be landed by then. 98% satisfaction rate there on PACX. Let's see if I can keep them happy. It's like I've had this like for like a month or two. And I've only managed to be able to, to get one flight uh, actually recorded on my career because either I had a simulator crash on me um, or something or another. So I'm hoping that we don't have that problem um, again on, on this flight so that way it can be added to the, uh, the career. make my picture uh, disappear for, for a moment.
Uh oh. <laughs> Can't have an empty coffee cup. That's bad. You know what? Here. Let me let me let me hook you up. Let me hook you up. One coffee, please. Okay, I'll bring the drinks up in a minute. Thank you. See, I got you covered, man. I got you covered. Connor Bolo or Balau over there on YouTube. What game is this? This is not a game. <laughs> well, maybe it is. <laughs> hey guys, here are the drinks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, no problem. I got one sugar. Uh, here you go. <laughs> this is prepared. P3D. Roger. Simulator, flight simulation. It's a derivative of Microsoft Flight Simulator X, otherwise known as FSX Flight Simulator 10. But P3D or Lockheed Martin um, basically got permission to. Uh, utilize the engine and continue developing it. And we are now on version 5 of prepared. So that is what this is. And I do have Flight Simulator 2020 as well as X-Plane 11. But I have much better aircraft for this simulator than Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, and this is one of them. It's not all about pretty scenery. You know, Flight Simulator 2020 is more of a game than it is a simulator. It's good. It's pretty. Uh, and eventually it will get there. Hopefully, if they ever release that software development kit. At this rate, they may not get it out for another five years. Ask her for a 68. <laughs> It's a little close to a 69. All keyboard functions. I don't know if I've had that happen. Well, no, I kind of had it happen, but that's because I have a wireless keyboard <laughs> with battery. So, yeah, that's kind of happened. I, I don't now. I still have it. It's over here on the i5, but... Yeah, no, I use a wired keyboard now. Copa 235, contact Santiago Center 128.1. 128.1, Copa 235, 
I don't know if I would consider Flight Sim 2020 as an upgrade from X-Plane 11 because it's like apples and oranges. Um, each one has something the other one doesn't uh, do. Uh, by all means, Flight Sim 2020 is, is great. I do enjoy it. But I also like X-Plane 11. Uh, it takes a little bit more work uh, to get it set up. Granted. Uh, but there are some very nice planes uh, on X-Plane 11. And I do all the simulators here. So, X-Plane 11, Flight Sim 2020, prepared. FSX, Flight Simulator 98, X-Plane 5, Flight Simulator 1. <laughs> do them all. I do them all on the channel. So, if you like you like to see old classic stuff as well as new stuff you're in the right spot Argentina 1990 descend and maintain flight level 330 <laughs> she sounds like a little annoyed descend and maintain flight level 330 Argentina 1990 oh this is it folks it's time to go down. Mendoza Center. Down, Air down, down, down. Zero down. to with you at flight level 380. Air France 40 to Mendoza Center. Roger. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, Argentina we'll begin our descent into your destination here in just a moment. On behalf of the flight crew and staff, I wanted to thank you for flying with us today, and I hope that you choose us for all your flying needs in the future. Thank you. Well, we're, we're just all going to talk at the same time, so... <laughs> Cleared via As Asimov 4, Charlie Arrival, Argentina, 1990. I like to know, like, what runway we're going to be landing on, but... Contact Santiago Center 119.7. 119.7, Clan Chile Route 13. Argentina 1990, descend and maintain flight level 330. Blah, 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 blah. We're working on it. <laughs> We're working on it. Center, Air France 406, with UF flight level 380. To assist with customs at our Air destination, flight attendants will begin handing Mendoza out forms momentarily. Center, Please review and complete these forms and keep them with you for presentation upon arrival. Oh my. Descend and maintain flight level. Descend and maintain flight level. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, if you wouldn't interrupt me. Descend and maintain flight level 330, Argentina 1990. Lamperu 2146. Contact Santiago Center 128.1. 200 knots, Delta Argentina 1990. Contact Santiago Center 119.7. Alright, let's do this approach brief here. Lamparu 2146. Did you copy? Oh no. Final approach fix altitude. Well, heck, I, I, I don't know. We're gonna skip that. <laughs> Lamparu twenty-one forty-six. Did you copy? Oops. Ah, dang it. Descent checklist, please. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Landing altitude is one five five zero feet. Recall checked. Auto brake. Level 3. Landing data. Argentina Center fuel pumps off. Did you copy? Set and checked. 
Approach briefing. Complete it. Are you sure? You sure? Descent checklist complete. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. 119.7 Argentina 1990. Set 119.7 on COM 1. Set. Santiago Center, Argentina 1990 with you on ASIMO 4, Charlie. Argentina 1990, Santiago Center, Roger. Argentina 1990, descent and maintain flight level 280. 280 now, huh? Asimo 4, Charlie, there it is. Which runway? The heck if I know. Guess we'll find out here in a moment. Select Argentina nineteen ninety. Descend and maintain flight level two eight zero. Descend and maintain flight level two eight zero, Argentina nineteen ninety. Checked. Oh, man, stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> what now I gotta say that again? Descend and maintain flight level two eight zero, Argentina nineteen ninety. <laughs> We have Cylons where we're going. By your command. Descend and maintain flight level 250, Argentina 1990. Cursor is locked on another monitor. Oh my goodness. Descend and maintain flight level 220, Argentina 1990. Gotta think fast, think fast. Gotta bring up Navigraph here and get that chart up. Oh, wait a minute. I'm making that harder than I need to. Um, approaches. Nope. Arrivals. That's it. Air Canada 849, Santiago Center, Roger. Huh. Well, that's not right. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Santiago Center, Chile, seven, zero, four, okay, so here we are. Three, We're coming in. This is the uh, approach. I'm assuming we're landing on 35 right, but I don't know that for sure. Descend and maintain flight level 190, Argentina 1990. And Delta 573, contact 1975. 1975, Delta 573, good day. Bye. So we got a Payware Airport coming up. Uh, Santiago Airport 
is a, the Latin VFR uh, version for P3D 4 and 5. So this is version 2 of the airport. Uh, tried to find some custom content first. Yeah, well, what I found was for FSX. And yeah, that didn't quite load in correctly. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky. Um, and an FSX airport will work. And other times, it don't look good. And that was the case with this one. So, Descend and maintain 8,000 Argentina 1990. Yeah, I hope we don't hit those mountains up ahead. This is what they did to us over in... Oh, maybe we're... Hey, we're not turning! Cabin crew, prepare for landing. Oh my, LNAV is not working! I guess we'll have to manually move this thing around. See, now I know why. <laughs> when I saw those mountains, I'm like, mm, maybe we're not on the right path. No, we're not on the right path. All right. Let's arm the spoilers here. One two one point one, Argentina, nineteen ninety. Set one two one point one on COM one. Set. Santiago radar, Argentina, nineteen ninety, with you on Asimo four, Charlie. Argentina, nineteen ninety. Transition. Fly heading one six five. Descent and maintain eight thousand. Altimeter two nine or eight three. Expect vectors to ILS runway 17 right approach. Circle to land west of the runway left hand downwind runway 35 left. Fly heading 165, descend and maintain 8000, Argentina 1990. Okay, ILS 17 right. We'll go ahead and get that in here. La 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 EL382 EL382 Reset transponder Squawk 3014 We have begun our final descent into your destination. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect any trash one final time. Please ensure tray tables are Reset stowed and ensure the full Reset transponder squad 3014, Please also store any carry-on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. Please complete all Wi-Fi related tasks and stow any Crap. larger electronics. I wasn't paying attention. Turn left heading 335. Great, I don't even know where that went. Oh, there it is. The cabin is secure. Set the transponder to 3014. Okay, that was not the right command. <laughs> Ah! 
3014. Argentina 1990, squat 3014. I can see it. Caution, <laughs> terrain. I can see it. <laughs> 1,000 to level. Caution, terrain. Squawk 3014. I am! Squawk 3014, Argentina 1990. Argentina 1990, turn left heading 130. Descent and maintain 4,500. Turn left heading 130, descend and maintain 4,500, Argentina 1990. Argentina Ah, stop talking to me! Descend and maintain 7,000. <laughs> 2,500. I am trying to get my charts up. <laughs> descend and maintain 7,000, Argentina 1990. Okay, one seven right. Gotta change that. One seven right. Where are you? ILS one seven right. Argentina nineteen ninety. Reduce speed two five zero. Oh well, this should be easy. One 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 one. <laughs> it's the frequency. Reduce speed 250, Argentina 1990. Argentina 1990, maintain 4,500 until established on localizer. Ugh. Cleared for ILS runway 17 right approach. Circle to land west of the runway left hand downwind runway 35 left. Contact Santiago Tower 118.1. Maintain 4,500 until established on localizer. Clear for ILS runway 17 right approach. Circle to land west of the runway, left hand downwind, runway 35 left, 118.1, Argentina 1990. I have no Oscar idea 55. what in the heck. Heading 005. <laughs> she just said. 6,000. Expect vectors to ILS runway 17 right approach. Altimeter 2983. Circle to land west of the runway, left hand downwind, runway 35. All right, what was that? One seven six. Course one seven. Ah! One seven six. Okay. Switch this over to Okay, we're going to have to turn We're gonna have to turn around here because they had me moving way too much. Approach checklist, please. Altimeters. Set and checked. Set. Approach checklist complete. 
Landing checklist, please. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. Flaps 30. We're above the flap speed. Flaps 5. Flaps 5. American Flaps 10, 10 green light. One to one decimal two. Two one decimal two, American two five four six. Set and checked. Let's do that again. Okay. Landing checklist, please. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. Flaps 15. Green. Speed brake up. Flaps 15. What did he just do? I can't arm the speed bird. What the hell did he do? Checked. Jerk, what did you do? <laughs> I can't I can't do anything with a speed brake. I can't arm it. I don't know what he did. Set 118.1 on com 1. Dang it. Set 118.1 on com 1. Set. Might be having one of those landings. What altitude are we at? That's not the right altitude. Five thousand. Glide slope alive. Arm the speed brake. Arm speed brake. You suck. Localizer alive. Do 
2500. Here it is. Santiago Tower, Argentina, 1990, with you on ILS runway 17, right? Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. American 2546, uh, maintain 200 knots under Mavic after Mavic comply with the approach. Contact 1975. 1975 after Mavic comply with the approach. American 2546. I think this has an auto land. Is it me or does it seem like we're off course a little bit? It looks like the runway is there. Oh, no, it looks okay. Okay, we're at full flaps. Santiago Tower, Roxmouth 55, with you on IMS runway 17 right. Roxmouth 55, Santiago Tower, Roger. One thing to remember when flying these airliners, be sure to turn off the auto throttle. Even if you turn off the autopilot because it will it will, it will get away from you. One hundred. Fifty. 30, 20, 10. Come on. Speed break up. That might have been a little uh, Auto hard. Auto disarm. Reverse yours normal. Sixty knots. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. The local time is four forty eight PM and it's currently about twenty six degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bins as items may have been during the flight. This is your like, final dive, dive, dive. for flying with us. If you're making a connection, we encourage you to check your itinerary to ensure a smooth continuation of Okay to clean up. Check.
Master caution, anti-ice. Huh. ATC is still saying, fly ILS runway 17 right. Well, we just did. <laughs> so apparently... Uh, apparently... Apparently they don't think we landed, but... That's okay. Let's get directions to a gate! Alright, GSX. Let's see. Gate. Five suitable parkings. Where do we want to park at here? Let's pull up the... Um, diagram here for the... Uh, the airport. Uh, let's see here. Okay. That's where we are. Uh, what, gate G? Is that what it is? Gate G? Parking spots. Terminal 1, Concourse C, Concourse E. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I've always had a hard, hard time trying to figure out what's what. And that's a taxiway golf is what I think that is, but. All right, we'll go back to this again. Uh, let's see, we got gate. Wow, yeah, no. It's not it's not gonna work. Small, small, medium. Well that might work. Three minutes. Okay, we're going to ask for a follow me truck so we can get to the uh, right spot. Should be here in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, on behalf of the flight crew and staff, we want to welcome you aboard the aircraft and thank you for choosing us for your flight travel carrier. If there's anything that we can do to make your flight more enjoyable, please ask the cabin crew. Thank you. Maybe that was not the right one I wanted to choose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just close that. Oh, 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 they don't want me to close it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Do we have landing gear stuff up? No. All right, there he goes. <laughs> so here we go, folks. This is the Santiago, Chile airport. 
by Latin BFR. It was uh, roughly 20 euros. But when I looked at it uh, and compared that with... Um, there's a crack in the windshield. <laughs> I thought it was my monitor. There's like a crack right there or something. Uh, but when I compared it to the uh, default... Yeah, this was uh, much more interesting, uh, I thought. Well, usually they are, but... I thought for this particular flight it would be nice to... have a little something. We'll have to see uh, what the passengers thought about the landing. I could have gone from a 98% satisfaction rate to a 33% uh, <laughs> who knows. That little van looked like uh, like a tiny little remote control vehicle there for a moment. Almost like that thing in Star Wars, you know, when it was in the hallway going, me, 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 me. <laughs> Will someone get this walking carpet out of my way? What am I not turning right? Well, what the heck? I am turning all over the place here. There we go. to do turn Land Chile CX 0 wind 200 zero, zero at 13 clear take off runway 35 right clear take off runway 35 right land Chile 60 heck I don't know <laughs> it looks like we're in the right spot I don't know he's waving his arms all over the place Lights and doors. Check. Shutdown procedure. Cabin crew, disarm doors and cross check. Doors disarmed, no APU. All right, I'll move over a little bit. Hold on, we don't have a power source. Cockpit to ground.
Cockpit to ground. Oh, shoot. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. Please connect the external power. Please connect external power. Roger. Connecting to GPU. I could do this too. Shut down checklist, please. Captain, the GPU is connected. Stand by. Land Chile 6 0. Contact Santiago Radar 121.1. 121.1. Land Chile 6 0. Guy got to shut it down. Okay, if he's not going to shut it down, I'll shut it down. Start deboarding. Control Delta three eight seven in Barrow one Papa three five. Delta three eight seven. Good afternoon, radio contact me at Barrow one Papa two one zero thousand. Expect I love the English people running. Delta three eight seven. Okay, here we are. Look at that! 95% satisfied! Woohoo! Yes! That is the best that I've done so far. And they are leaving! They are departing! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye! Oh, he's quick. Get me out of here! <laughs>
So yeah, everyone's uh, deboarding right now. Oh, I guess I could. Well, no, they're all going through there. Oh, you can see them walking. Uh, their head is just through the... <laughs> Banco de Chile. Thinks you might be a little stuck there. Yay, yay, I'm free. I'm free to do what I want. <laughs> Any old time. Is it me or do they seem like they're a little too tall for this air bridge? <laughs> <laughs> I did not have, I did not need a face full of that. Okay. Well, they are all out of the aircraft. At least on, um, uh, Pack X. So we'll go ahead and in flight. I am glad we're here. The landing was a bit rough. These are comments. This is going to be fun leaving the aircraft. I'm glad Killer Airlines continues to impress. <laughs> we landed moderately ahead of schedule. And we had a hard landing. Well, no surprise. But we got 95% satisfaction. That's what I'm talking about. Shut down checklist, please. Shut down checklist. Fuel pumps. Off. Probe heat. Off. Hydraulic panel. Set. Flaps. Up. Parking brake. Set. Engine start levers. Off. Cut off. Weather radar. Off. Off. Shut down checklist complete. Secure the aircraft, please. Check. Secure checklist. Secure checklist. IRSs off. Emergency exit lights off. Window heat off. Packs off. Secure checklist complete. You too. Well, let's see. We can go ahead and just uh, maybe get some ground maintenance. Go ahead and get some service of the hydraulic fuel, it engine oil, that and that, <laughs> and let's do that and that and that because we probably have to replace the tires and that and that. <laughs> Perfect. 
probably doesn't even know what to do. Oh, we don't have trucks coming. I thought we were going to have, like, service trucks coming. Well, that's a disappointment. <laughs> I thought there would be, uh, some stuff. <laughs> well, folks, we're here. Eight hours and 51 minutes, uh, not counting the downtime that we had when the simulator uh, crashed. But I learned from you folks that getting a registered version of FSUIPC would probably be one of the uh, best investments I could make, uh, among some other investments that I've made. So I will definitely do that. Uh, especially since we're going to be getting back to Flight Simulator 2020 and our Cross the World event. I definitely got some work I got to do to get that um, all set and ready. I almost said prepared, but I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> because we're not doing prepared, we're doing Flight Sim 2020. Uh, anyways, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, it's been fun. It's been long. Uh, we had a lot of uh, fun things that we did um, on the flight in regards to uh, entertainment, in-flight entertainment, watch some videos, listen to some, some of the music that I put together. Um, yeah, plenty of exterior uh, cinematic shots and everything to take a look at. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. We've got this uh, fantastic airport here. So, hope, hope you liked all that. Uh, and if you are new over on Killer TV on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you get notified of future streams, future videos that are uploaded. Because uh, I do a lot um, and throughout the week. So you might want to know what it is that's uploaded and when. And on Twitch... Be sure to follow me on Twitch. That way you get notifications of when I do streaming on Twitch. I don't always do multi-streaming. Sometimes I do just stuff on Twitch. And besides, Twitch is the only place that you can earn killer points. What can you do with killer points? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, you can redeem those points for some really cool things, such as requesting your own flights. Maybe you can't play Flight Simulator 2020 because of your machine or uh, maybe you just don't have the funds for it. Totally understand. That's what the killer points are for. You can redeem them. Uh, there's different stages, uh, different levels that you can uh, redeem them for. So take a look at that. So that way you can redeem a flight that you would like to see. And maybe you'd like to see it on Flight Simulator 2020. Maybe you'd like to see it on X-Plane 11. Um, maybe prepared. Version 5. Maybe you want to go back to 4.5. Don't ask about 1, 2, and 3. I don't have those. <laughs> and I don't want them. Uh, but, or maybe FSX, FS9, or Flight Simulator 98. Or heck, maybe you just want to see something with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 1. Yeah, I do all those. So take a look at that and it's not just flight simulator there's other stuff as well so it's not just a flight simulator channel it's a variety of channel i like to think of it as an entertainment channel fun family friendly entertainment don't worry no language no swearing none of that stuff safe place to bring your family for fun entertainment especially in uh, these days and ages that we have going on right now so Hope to see you again and again and again and again. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you on another video and another stream real soon. Have a killer awesome day.